takes over gangster Mukhtar Ansari's death. Samajwadi Party and Congress allege conspiracy. After United States and Germany, now the United Nations wades into Kejriwal arrest row. And from AI to UPI, Prime Minister and Bill Gates discuss India's digital revolution. <clears throat> A day after India said Washington's call for fairness in legal cases related to opposition parties was unwarranted and unacceptable, the United Nations has now waded into the controversy saying the world hopes everyone is able to vote in the country's parliamentary elections in a free and fair atmosphere, as if they have any responsibility of something which we have been doing for the last seven decades and more. Look at this package on what exactly has transpired, then I'll come back with somebody talking about what's really happened. UN after US and Germany raising questions about India's democracy. India taking a strong exception. Yesterday, India had lodged its strong objection and protest with the senior official from the US Embassy with regard to the comments made by the US State Department. The recent remarks by the State Department are unwarranted. Questioning of democracy leading to a diplomatic tiff. Ich komme zurück auf den Fall des verhafteten Oppositionspolitiker Arvin Kejriwal. Nachdem Ihr Kollege den Fall am Freitag kommentiert hat, wurde der stellvertretende Botschafter in Delhi vom dortigen Außenministerium einbestellt. Also Indien und Deutschland ein großes Interesse an einer vertieften Kooperation haben und ähm, da auch vertrauensvoll ähm, zusammenarbeiten. Insofern würde ich jetzt ungern hier aus ähm, vertraulichen internen Gesprächen berichten. All of it seems to be an orchestrated attack on India's democracy. And the face of the campaign, Bangladeshi politician journalist Mushfikul Fazal Ansari. Ansari wanted in his country for spreading disinformation and booked under terror charges. But the question that remains is who is behind the malign India attack campaign? Bureau Report, Republic TV. प्राथमिकता जैसे इन्होंने बताया कि हमारा जो है क्षेत्रवाद कोई नहीं होगा सब क्षेत्र का जो है वो इक्वल डेवलपमेंट आपके कोने दिन गाड़ी खड़ी हो सकती है जो भी बात इंचो मैदान में आ रही है पांच साल में वो यहाँ पर रही हैं सांसद के तौर पर उन्होंने काम किया है लेकिन हाँ ना जो है उनकी अभी चल रही है अभी तक फाइनल नहीं हुआ है देखिए मैं तो ये कहूंगी कि अगर उनको अब रेस्ट ही ले लेना है तो वो भी अच्छा है क्योंकि हमारे पेरेंट्स के टाइम से वो चले आ रहे हैं अब नए यंग लोगों को भी मौका मिलना चाहिए मुझे तो ये लगता है और वो जैसा आप कह रहे हैं वो खुद भी शोर नहीं है इस चीज़ को लेके तो अब जैसे हम लोग भी अब आगे आ रहे हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि एक नई ऊर्जा के साथ नए चेहरे भी आने चाहिए राजनीति में जैसे कि जो भाजपा है वो बहुत सारे नए चेहरों को राजनीति में ला रही है बिल्कुल डेफिनेटली हम लोग पूरी पार्टी में जो है हमारा अब की बार 400 पार ये हमारा प्रण है और ये प्रण को हम पूरा करके रहे हम पीछे नहीं हट सकते आप भी भी करेंगे या और भी कहीं जाएंगे क्या भी तो जो हमारे लिए हुक्म होगा हम वही करेंगे अब हम लोग ये पूरे कार्यकर्ता की सेना से जुड़ चुके हैं और हमें जहाँ भेजा जाएगा हम वही जाएंगे आप स्टार्टअप से रिलेटेड है आप मानते हैं जो पब्लिक रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हैं तो चैलेंज आता है चैलेंज कर रहे हैं या इतना अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं नहीं हर एक चीज़ का एक एज होती है एक फेज होता है एक टाइम था जब स्टार बनना उसमें ज़्यादा मन लगता था अब इतना लोगों ने दिया है इतनी लोकप्रियता दी है इतना जैसा कि सर ने कहा कि अगर हमारा फेस जो है यहाँ का उद्धार करा सकता है तो फिर हम लोग क्यों अपनी हम भी आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं हम भी लोगों की सेवा में जाना चाहते हैं हर जिंदगी का एक अलग पहलू होता है वोट भी टाइम अच्छा था ये भी बहुत अच्छा है ये नहीं सोचते कि वो कैसा था और ये कैसा है सुप्रिया को कोई जवाब देना चाहेंगे या जनता जवाब मैंने कहा है कि मंडी की जनता जो है वो सुप्रिया को जवाब देंगे मैं जवाब नहीं दूंगी उनको जवाब मिल जाएगा उनको जो है हमारे बैठे हुए हैं जो केंद्र में बैठे हुए हैं चार पार का जवाब वो देंगे धन्यवाद धन्यवाद बॉलीवुड की शेरनी अब हिमाचल की शेरनी बनने वाली है 
देखिए हिमाचल की सारी लड़कियां शेर मैं कहती हूँ कि पहाड़ी लड़कियां पहाड़ी भाई बहन जो हमारे हैं बड़े बहादुर बड़े मेहनती लोग हैं सबके सब इसीलिए मैंने मैं चाहती थी कि मुझे यहाँ लोगों की सेवा करने का मौका मिले धन्यवाद धन्यवाद All right, that was uh, Kangana Ranaut uh, addressing uh, media in Mandi. But earlier, she spoke exclusively to Republic's Harsha Chandwani and uh, addressed issues uh, around uh, the rate card slur that has been hurled at her by Supriya Srinet of uh, the Congress Party, as also as a daughter of Mandi, what uh, people should be expecting from her after she wins uh, the election, as she said. Listen in. Look, um, as you can see, you know, I have not transformed in any way. If you could have seen me like, uh, you know, like uh, two or three, three days ago when my uh, candidature was announced, I'm just the same person. I'm wearing my same clothes, the way I go to direct on my film sets. I'm just the same person. In fact, today people are saying that I have joined BJP, but uh, uh, for a for couple of years now, people are accusing me of being a, <laughs> being a BJP party person. Like Pro-Hindu mindset, they always um, talk about. Uh, yes, and uh, I've been actively uh, fighting for BJP agendas because I resonate with the party, I res resonate with the ideology and uh, overall uh, aesthetics of the party. Um, I don't see any, any significant changes in my life apart from the fact that I am now in the field and I am, um, you know, I am looking for uh, an active approval from people. How do you want to respond, Kangna, to the sexist remark and the rate card remark which was posed to you by the Congress politician? And she didn't even apologize about it. She just made an excuse that someone else was handling her Instagram account. How do you see those remarks on you post at you? Look, um, I mean, of course, it's uh, beyond appalling to, to, you know, I think probably this is the lowest level of mindset or the thinking where you, you, you ask a woman, you know, uh, what is the rate uh, of her, you know, like, what's her rate? It's the lowest level of thinking. It's, uh, um, uh, you know, there is no argument about that and everybody, everybody feels so, regardless of her wanting or not wanting to apologize. Um, but uh, to me, uh, am I taken aback? Am I surprised? I am not surprised by it because the way Congress Party has always, um, you know, have been conflicted in their very fundamental ideologies is, uh, um, is rather, you know, um, um, natural for them because you know on one hand they are calling me somebody who has a rate card on another hand uh, based on my you know the, my choice of clothing and on another hand they would go and uh, do dharna for um, the rights of burqa you know all of that and then they call themselves liberals as well um, so they've been very conflicted and confused about what they want to be who they want to um, align with and who they want to uh, you know, uh, res resonate or appeal to. So I'm not surprised by this sort of a confused, foggy, brain foggy sort of a thinking that they are displaying. Did it hurt you or affect you? And how do you see this Mandi Lok Sabha where Pratibha Singh is contesting against you? She will be contesting. There's no announcement of the name right now. But she says that where was Kangana Ranaut when there was a disaster in Mandi? Look, uh, how do I see this remark? Uh, of course, you know, like you are a woman and you, you can, if you consider yourself in such a situation, you would be definitely very upset and uh, in, in, a, in a way, um, you know, you'll double think you're, you're, you're venturing into, into a place where you will be vulnerable to all sort of attacks on your character and your, your worth. Uh, but having said that, um, you know, the, the, the huge amount of support that I got is uh, encouraging and uh, how do I Pratibhaji. She has been a very senior politician you know I think uh, when we were growing up from the time of my parents they were uh, they were in the you know but I think uh, I resonate with the BJP's uh, idea of uh, launching new people and I think Congress party should also because Pratibhaji has been very uncertain about and I think somewhere I read that uh, she, she thinks that she's not uh, she doesn't have enough uh, I mean the age factor she, she says something yes. like that right like she, she want to because because of her age something like that she said I mean I, I think I read that if I'm sorry if I'm uh, being mistaken but I think that's a that's a good idea because 
because um, look, uh, you know, like we've seen her in our childhood when we were like really young, and now we are also getting grey hair. So I, I think high time that. We want to be the change. Even from that side, we like to have a more young, dynamic person. But if not, um, I look. I, I'm not saying that I don't have, um, you know, uh, I do have a lot of respect for what they've done. But high time that um, new people are given a chance. And uh, your question was that where was I? Um, I was shooting because they chose people, and they should have been here when it was flooded. I was not the chosen person to represent by any party, so I was doing my, I was minding my own business, to, so to speak. And apart from that, the area was flooded. It yes. was not safe to come here, and only the you know uh, uh, it was also um, you know life threatening to be traveling to this place for a significant amount of time when the tragedy struck. Um, did we lose? Yes, my sister lost her house. Yes. Um, you know, like we lost uh, many things. You know, there were a lot of uh, damages that happened. But we were hoping that uh, the the leadership that has been chosen from here they do visit the lower areas also, but they were completely absent from here. So this question is uh, better suited to people who were in power, not me. All right. Uh, some would say Kangana Ranaut is the newsmaker of the day with the kind of attention she has been getting post the Congress attack on her. Uh, she putting across her stand. Uh, moving on, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Bill Gates discussed uh, digital revolution in India as well as his strides in health, agriculture and education sectors. Prime Minister also highlighted the G20 vision and how India brought G20 goals to mainstream. A snippet of that hour-long conversation that Prime Minister had with Microsoft uh, founder Bill Gates. Listen in. Well, the G20 is way more inclusive. And so it was fantastic to see that uh, India and hosting it really raised things like digital innovation uh, and how this South-South collaboration can be far more than just the dialogue with the North. It can actually be a system that improves health. And, you know, our foundation is so excited about the positive results that you've achieved here in India uh, that we'll be a partner in trying to take that uh, into many other countries. आपके बात सही है जब मैं इंडोनेशिया में भी जी ट्वेंटी में गया था तो दुनिया के सभी देशों की क्यूरियोसिटी ये थी कि आपने ये डिजिटल रिवॉल्यूशन कैसे लाया है और तब मैं उनको समझाता था एक तो मैंने इस टेक्नोलॉजी को डेमोक्रेटाइज कर दिया है ये किसी की मोनोपोली नहीं रहेगी ये जनता का होगा जनता के द्वारा होगा और जनता में जो भी उभरती हुई टैलेंट इसमें वैल्यूएशन करेगी वो करती चलेगी ताकि कॉमन मैन को भी टेक्नोलॉजी पर विश्वास पैदा होना चाहिए जैसे दस डॉक्टर होते हैं सब एमबीबीएस होते हैं लेकिन एक डॉक्टर के पास ज्यादा लोग जाते हैं क्योंकि उसका भरोसा बन गया है digital government, uh, India is not only adapting technology, but it's actually leading the way. Uh, what are some of the things you're excited about? Health, agriculture, and education. I have made a temple of 2 lakh temple of Ayushman Arogya Mandir, villages. This is my health center. I have directly with modern technology बेस्ट हॉस्पिटल के साथ उनको जोड़ देता पहले शुरू में उनको लगता था डॉक्टर तो है नहीं मेरी मुझे देखे बिना कैसे बताता है लेकिन बाद में उनको समझ आया कि टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट और सैकड़ों किलोमीटर दूर बैठा हुआ डॉक्टर भी उनको सही डायग्नोसिस कर रहा है सही एडवाइस कर रहा है तो लोगों का कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ रहा है जितना बड़ी हॉस्पिटल में होता है उतना ही छोटे आरोग्य मंदिर में हो रहा है तो इस ये डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म की कमाल है और दूसरी बार एजुकेशन मैं बच्चों को बेस्ट एजुकेशन पहुंचाना चाहता हूं। टीचर की जो कमियां हैं, उसको मैं टेक्नोलॉजी से भरना चाहता हूं। दूसरा बच्चे का इंटरेस्ट विजुअल में है, स्टोरी टेलिंग में है। तो उस प्रकार के कंटेंट बनाना उस दिशा में मैं काम कर रहा हूं। ताकि बच्चों को लगना चाहिए और मैंने कुछ सर्वे किया, मैंने देखा बच्� मेरे हाँ एग्रीकल्चर में भी मैं बहुत बड़ा रिवॉल्यूशन डाला 
और मैं माइंडसेट बदलना चाहता हूं All right, Prime Minister having that engaging conversation with Bill Gates uh, also discussed digital revolution in India as well as its strides in health, agriculture, and education. And we have seen how he was talking about uh, some aspects of technology which he has used in his governance. Let's listen into another one of the snippets coming out of that our long interaction. क्लाइमेट को लेकर के हम बात कर रहे थे भारत मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि हम रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी के क्षेत्र में बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ रहे हैं सोलार एनर्जी विंड एनर्जी हम काफ़ी काम हम न्यूक्लियर के अंदर काफ़ी तेजी से आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं उसी प्रकार से ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन को हम बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं मैं तमिलनाडु में था तो हमने एक हाइड्रोजन से चलने वाली बोट मैंने वहाँ से रवाना की जो काशी में मेरे जो टूरिस्ट आते हैं उनके लिए ये एनवायरनमेंट फ्रेंडली पोल्यूशन फ्री ये बोट काशी से अयोध्या के लिए चलाने के लिए मैंने सोचा है ताकि क्लीन गंगा की मेरी जो मूवमेंट है उसको भी बंद मिलेगा एनवायरनमेंट कॉन्शियस सोसाइटी के लिए भी वहाँ से एक मैसेजिंग होता रहेगा well, uh change a rich rich history of caring about the environment um how do you see connecting those hamare yahan reuse recycle ye hamare nature mein hai ab dekhiye ye jo jacket hai ye recycle material ka hai lekin ye recycle material ki bhi visheshta hai iski visheshta ye hai jo tailor ke yahan kapde ke tukde nikalte hain ye sara waste ikattha kiya hua hai fir jo purane kapde hain उसको भी इसमें लिया हुआ है और 30-40 परसेंट वेस्ट प्लास्टिक बोतल को लिया हुआ है और उन सबको रिसाइकल करके ये कपड़ा बना है या द इनोवेशन बोथ हियर इन इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड इस इस कमिंग अलोंग आर द गोल्स दैट वी सेट यू नो स्टेइंग बिलो 1.5 डिग्रीज यू नो वी प्रॉब्ली विल मिस दैट इवन टू डिग्रीज इसन गोइंग ट uh the thing you and i really emphasized in paris uh is the need for innovation you know if the green approach can be made as cheap or cheaper than the old approach you know then the adoption will be very good if it's more expensive it's not clear who's going to be willing to pay for that you know should the rich countries pay for that it's not fair to tell india to slow down you know building basic uh infrastructure just because the west had those emissions uh but you'll have to have some adaptation because there will be some warming particularly uh which farmers will have to 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 take into account mujhe lagta hai ki humne two prong strategy ki taraf jana chahiye ek to hai innovation aur innovation mein hamari jo requirements hain वो क्लाइमेट फ्रेंडली कैसे हो नेचर फ्रेंडली कैसे हो उसमें इनोवेशन हो भारत ने अभी अपने इस बजट में एक लाख करोड़ रुपये का कॉरपोरस फंड बनाया है और यंग जनरेशन को हमने कहा है कि आप इनोवेशन के लिए आइए पचास साल तक इंटरेस्ट फ्री लोन हम देंगे Right uh, on that note, we slip into a short break. On the other side, income tax department issues fresh 1700 crore notice to the Congress. Party says we'll move top court now. A politics over gangster Mukhtar Ansari's death. Samajwadi Party and Congress allege conspiracy. Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements Congress ko jab se Karnataka mein mauka mila hai to inhone Karnataka ko apna एटीएम बना दिया है जो का है कि मुर्दाबाद मुर्दाबाद ग्रामीण पे 
Another controversy has hit the posh Ashoka University. A video of students raising caste slogans has gone viral, where they can be heard demanding caste census on campus and shouting anti-Brahmin and anti-Banya slogans. Former Infosys Chief Financial Officer Mohandas Pai has questioned caste hatred in the university, seeking intervention of the Union Education Minister. Following the uproar on social media, the Ashoka University has issued a statement deploring hatred against any individual or group. It assured measures to ensure peace and harmony is not disturbed. Why is posh casteism prevailing in the poshest university? Has reverse casteism become a fad? Dunia ki sabse purani bhaja Tamil bhaja Hindustan ki hai. Main dunia ko batana chahta hu sabse purani bhaja ka garva prapta hai. Wo meri Tamil bhaja hai. शब्द होता है हम शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं एक शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं इंडिया अलायंस ने अपना घोषणा पत्र शक्ति को खत्म करने के लिए किया है मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन सबसे स्वरूपा माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है Moving on, we're getting in uh, more news from Karnataka. Top Congress leader Shamanur Shivshankarappa has now stoked a fresh controversy with his sexist and misogynistic remark. Remember, Shivshankarappa said that women must be restricted to kitchen while he was reacting on Davan Gere's uh, BJP candidate. Listen in. Prajwal Prasad is joining us live on this broadcast. Prajwal, on one hand, we have uh, Chief Minister Siddharamaya announcing a slew of, uh, you know, uh, uh, schemes for women in Karnataka, like free bus rides and uh, the head of every family, a women head of every family will be paid a certain amount every month. But on the other hand, we have his own party leader making such sexist and misogynistic remarks saying that women should only be restricted to the kitchen. 
know, Deepak, in fact, why don't we have that uh, rebuttal by uh, Gayatri Siddeshwara as uh, well? Because uh, she is uh, summed it up uh, for Shamnur Shivshankrapa as well as the entire Congress party too. It is not only the state of Karnataka. Remember, it has been for ages that the Congress party has now and again been targeting women as well. Started off with Mr. Adhir Ranjan Choudhury who went ahead and uh, called uh, President uh, Draupadi Murmu a psychophant. Later, it was Mr. Rahul Gandhi in his latest where he targeted Shakti and he used unparliamentary language. Uh, we are also going ahead and looking uh, at the latest Supriya Srinate going calling uh, Kangana Renaut in unparliamentary language uh, by a sexy uh, sexist post which was uh, put on her social media handle too. And now Shamnur Shivshankrapa seems to have joined in the troop as well and therefore the BJP states that this is not a problem with one particular Neta in the Congress party. It on the whole reflects the Congress party's mindset as well and they have always been against women too but it is only a facade that they are going ahead and uh, in, uh, you know going ahead and announcing uh, women centric schemes as well. You are pointing out towards the Shakti scheme you are pointing out uh, towards uh, the women uh, you know the Gruha Lakshmi scheme as well, head of women household getting 2,000 rupees too. So all this seems to be more of a facade if Congress Netas go ahead and give such statements now and again too. And uh, they, uh, the, you know, the... Right, uh, on that note, we slip into a short break. On the other side, income tax department issues fresh 1,700 crore notice to the Congress. Party says we'll move top court now. Politics over gangster Mukhtar Ansari's death, Samajwadi Party and Congress alleged conspiracy. भाषा तमिल भाषा हिंदुस्तान की है मैं दुनिया को बताना चाहता हूं सबसे पुरानी भाषा का गर्व प्राप्त है वो मेरी तमिल भाषा है गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम व्यूअर्स कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी इज रेजिंग अराउंड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वंस अगेन so much controversy around the country's highest court all the time is not good and most unfortunately all this controversy happens every time on the eve of every election especially the general elections and the supreme court of india is willy-nilly dragged into political issues and that's not good either it's very bad i have always maintained that it is wrong to use the supreme court rooms to fight political battles but it happens all the time and now it's getting very intense the political controversies around the supreme court 600 lawyers saying that there is a concerted attempt to surround the supreme court with pressure tactics pressurize the courts to smear the courts and with all of this happening with the hashtag supreme court controversy we must address this burning issue what are these political parties fighting about if the fight is over money and access to money, if the fight is over whether some parties are getting more money and others are getting less money, and the fight is over whether you got more money, I got more money, you got these many crores, I got these many crores. Ladies and gentlemen, fight it out in the public arena. Why make the Supreme Court the center over a fight over money? What is this fight about really? Is it about whether the PMLA Act should be act used against scam kingpins? Then why drag the courts into it? Were other people like Naresh Trehan or Jet Airways or Wadwans of DHFL who are accused of grave misdeeds, misdeeds themselves not held under the same laws? Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Microsoft founder Bill Gates discuss at length the digital revolution in India. The Prime Minister also cautioned against AI misuse and deepfakes. PM said 
its AI generated content should have a watermark in order to combat the issue of deep fakes. PM Modi highlighted India's strides in various sectors of India, including health, agriculture, and education. Bill Gates lauded India's digital revolution and said India is not only adapting technology but is actually leading the way. Prime Minister Modi also presented Bill Gates with the Vocal for Local gift hamper in exchange for nutrition books gifted by Microsoft CEO. Both were engaged in a long conversation discussing artificial intelligence, digital infrastructure, COVID-19, G20 summit and more. BJP candidate from Mandi Lok Sabha seat actor Kangana Ranaut said that Congress cannot accept her nomination from Mandi and hence are resorting to cheap politics. Earlier today, she conducted a road show and told the gathering to treat her as their own sister and daughter and not as a celebrity. And yet another controversial remark by Congress party's leader, Karnataka Congress MLA Shamanur Shivshankarappa insulted women and said they should be restricted to the kitchen. The Congress MLA criticized BJP's women candidate from Davan Gere Lok Sabha constituency and demanded another face. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's wife Sunita Kejriwal in a video message announced a WhatsApp campaign. Kejriwal ko Ashirwad. Kejriwal's wife urged people to send blessings and prayers to the Delhi Chief Minister. United Nations waded into Ra over Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said he hopes that everyone's rights are protected, including political and civil rights, and everyone is able to vote in an atmosphere that is free and fair. RJD Congress and left leaders held a joint press conference and announced their seat allocation for the Lok Sabha elections. RJD will contest on 26 seats, while Congress will fight on 9 seats and left will field its candidates on 5 seats. TDP announced its final list of candidates for 9 assembly seats and 4 Lok Sabha seats today. The list comes days after TDP, BJP and Janasena party sealed a seat-sharing pact in Andhra Pradesh which has 25 Lok Sabha seats and 175 assembly seats. The Ministry of Home Affairs sanctioned a CBI inquiry against former Delhi Minister and AAP leader Satyendra Jain under the Prevention of Corruption Act, alleging involvement in an extortion racket inside the jail. The investigation implicates Jain and former Tihar Jail DG Sandeep Goel in a high-profile case of corruption and abuse of power. NIA has arrested a suspect identified as uh, Pasha in Rameshwaram cafe blast case who reportedly used dark web to fund the cafe bomber. Pasha provided logistical support to the alleged mastermind of the cafe blast. The National Investigation Agency has announced 10 lakh rupees cash reward for sharing information leading to the arrest of key accused in Bengaluru's Rameshwaram cafe blast case. Mukhtar Ansari's son Umar Ansari has demanded that his father's autopsy should be done by doctors from Ames, Delhi. He called Mukhtar Ansari's death an orchestrated murder and not a natural death. Union Minister Anurag Thakur slammed opposition parties over Mukhtar Ansari's death, saying BSP, SP and Congress should stop doing politics on incidents like this. Anurag Thakur also added that judicial inquiry will be done if they demand for it. The Income Tax Department issued a demand notice of 1,700 crore rupees to the Indian National Congress. The fresh demand notice is for the assessment years 2017-18 to 2020-21 and includes a penalty and interest. Congress to stage a nationwide protest on the income tax notice to the Congress party. Now, Congress's General Secretary directed all the state units to demonstrate at PCC headquarters and at District Congress Committee headquarters on the issue tomorrow. Union Minister Hadeep Singh Puri lashed out at Congress saying the party has not filed income tax from past 17 years. The Union Minister added that rule of filing income tax return every year is for everyone and no party or party member is free from it. As Lok Sabha poll 
Is around the corner. Rahul Gandhi said Congress will reserve 50% of government jobs for women if the party is voted to power. In an attempt to woo voters, Rahul said women will change the dynasty of the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, while interacting with BJP workers in Tamil Nadu, hailed women karyakartas for their hard work ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. PM Modi said BJP is committed to make India the largest, third largest economy in the world and women will play a crucial role in it. During a rally in Bijnor, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath praised Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership over the past 10 years. He emphasized that advancing towards a developed Uttar Pradesh would further enhance the Prime Minister's vision of a developed India. BRS MP K. Keshav Rao is all set to rejoin the Congress and has expressed excitement over his return. He said that the grand old party had earlier bestowed upon him several responsibilities and that he looks forward to take the party's vision forward. The Indy Bloc has received the permission from the Election Commission and the police to organize rally at Delhi's Ram Leela Maidan against the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejri while top leaders said the alliance partners will participate in the rally. Over Lok Sabha ticket denial to TDP leader J.C. Prabhakar Reddy, the TDP workers vandalized Anantapuram party office. The party workers torched the furniture kept inside the office. Former Bihar Deputy Chief Minister and RJD leader Tejashvi Yadav said that Lok Sabha election results in Bihar will be surprising. He called the RJD Congress left Mahagat Bandhan as a strong alliance. Six convicts received life imprisonment in the BSP MLA Rajupal's murder case as a CBI special court delivered justice. The accused face four years imprisonment and a fine of 20,000 rupees in illegal arms possession, marking a significant development in the legal proceedings. In the wake to strengthen bilateral cooperation between India and Ukraine, External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar held a meeting with Foreign Minister of Ukraine. At the Hyderabad House in the national capital, both the leaders discussed on the ongoing conflict and its wider ramifications. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act has been extended for an additional six months in four districts of Assam, namely Tinsukia, Dibrugad, Charaidio, and Shivasagar, starting from April 1st. BJP lodged a complaint with the State Election Commission against Chief Minister Sidramaya's son. The complaint was filed against Yatindra Sidramaya over his derogatory remarks against Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Western Command of Indian Army conducted an exercise to validate integrated anti-aircraft weapon systems. The exercise by the Airavad Gagan Rakshaks aims to destroy aerial targets including swarm drones in preparation for future warfare. An avalanche in the vicinity of Hung Sonammag, Jammu and Kashmir has resulted in the stranding of several tourists prompting immediate rescue operations. The avalanche struck near the Hung locality and it covered many vehicles with snow. The STRF was also present at the spot. Former US President Barack Obama, Bill Clinton and some prominent personalities from the entertainment world teamed up to help US President Joe Biden raise record $26 million for his re-election campaign. Obama praised Biden's willingness to look for common ground and said Biden is the kind of president he wants. New York City officials announced a pilot program to deploy portable gun scanners in the subway system. The New York police are taking efforts to deter violence in the underground transport network in a bid to make the people feel safer. The Israeli military said it is continuing the precise operational activity in the area around the Shifa hospital. IDF claims to have eliminated terrorists and located weapons and terror infrastructure in the area. US General says the Biden administration has not given Israel all of the weapons it has requested for. US officials have been under pressure to use the ongoing delivery of weapons as a leverage to get Israel to increase the humanitarian aid in Gaza. Japan's chief cabinet secretary spoke out against Russia's veto at the United Nations. Russia's veto ended monitoring of UN sanctions against North Korea over its nuclear program. 
South Africa's former president has been barred from contesting the upcoming elections in May. The country's electoral commission has not provided a reason for the decision. The investigators are aboard the collapsed ship for the investigation. Independent federal agency tries to determine the cause of the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. French President Emmanuel Macron and Brazilian President signed more than 20 agreements relating to the area of science, technology and innovation. The aim of the agreements, according to Brazil's government, is to strengthen the scientific cooperation in the area of biodiversity. China's foreign ministry urged the U.S. to seize what it called illegal unilateral sanctions. This comes after U.S. reportedly lobbied its allies to stop providing key chip-making tools to some Chinese companies. A volcano in southwestern Iceland erupted several times against the backdrop of the northern lights. The eruption site is a few kilometers northeast of the Grindavik in a coastal town with 3,800 people. Russian President Vladimir Putin held a meeting with permanent members of the Security Council to discuss partnership with other countries. Putin stressed that building relations with its closest partners is of greatest importance for Moscow. The Russian city of Belgorod came under attack again from Ukrainian forces. According to local governor, there were no casualties reported in the attack. Thousands of Palestinian worshippers crossed from the West Bank to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, I beg your pardon, to pray at the revered Al-Aqsa Mosque compound on the third Friday of Ramadan. The mosque has been put up, put under tight security and entrance has been restricted to the state. The UK government stated that the Oscar-winning director of Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan, and his wife and producer, Emma Thomas, will receive a knighthood and damehood for their services to the film industry. The Who Stormy is back on Broadway just 30 years after the musical adaptation of the band's 1969 rock opera premiered on stage in New York. Dee Murray scored a career-high 44 points, including a go-ahead jumper in the final second of overtime. The basketball team Atlanta Hawks gained victory over the Boston Celtics. During the tennis Miami Open quarterfinals, Grigor Dimitrov of Bulgaria, playing one of the best matches of his career, knocked out Alcaraz in straight sets. Now, Alcaraz was riding a nine match win streak and coming off a title at Indian Wells. Thailand's golfer Pajare Anand Narkugan took a one-shot lead after the first round of LPGA 4 Championship in Gilbert, Arizona. World number one Nelly Korda is three shots back at six under as she tries to become the first LPGA Tour player. Basketball player Masataka Yoshida bagged his first double of the new season, helping his Boston Red Sox beat Seattle Mariners. Now. The Japanese had three, 33 doubles last season. The Texas Rangers unfurled a World Series championship banner for the first time in the franchisee's history. Banner was unveiled ahead of the Rangers' opening day matchup against the Chicago Cubs at Globe Life Field. Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents. Yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements. Right, we are joined in by Mr. Andrew Middleton. He is uh, Director of Apostles of the Sea Baltimore. And I believe uh, that's the port where uh, the Dali tragedy happened, leading to the collapse of the bridge. Oh, very good morning to you, Mr. Middleton, there in Baltimore. Uh, good evening from India. And uh, we... We heard about uh, the tragedy and we have seen reports about uh, your involvement uh, with some relief and rescue subsequently. Can you tell us what really exactly happened and uh, how you came to know about this? Some dramatic uh, visuals there for the world to see. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, we're we're a ministry to seafarers in the Port of Baltimore. On Sunday morning, the crew reached out to me, um, asking if if we could do transport them to shopping as they were preparing to sail um, to Sri Lanka, and they wanted to be able to buy personal items, toiletries, and those kind of things, just little creature comforts that they could have uh, for what was going to be an extended voyage um, down and around uh, South Africa. So we were able to take them, a uh, volunteer was able to take them shopping on on Sunday uh, for about five or six hours. Um, they went to Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. They came back to the Seafarer Center for a, a little while. Um, they went through our library and took some some books and magazines so that they would have those to read on board while they were at sea. Um, Monday morning, they reached out to me again and said they had uh, two people that wanted to go shopping before they sailed. Um, I was actually visiting ships that day, so I was able to take uh, those two out, um, one of whom was the captain. Uh, during our, our drive to the shopping center, Captain and I had conversation. Um, and he pretty much, that was at, at that point was when he told me that they were um, sailing for Sri Lanka and they were going to take a route around South Africa in order to avoid the Yemen coast and mm. the Houthi attacks and, and all the violence that's going on in that area. Um, if I remember correctly, he said that, that taking that route was adding, I think, seven extra days to, to the to the voyage. Um, yeah. But in, in my conversation with uh, the volunteer that took them out on uh, Sunday and, and my interactions on, on Monday, everyone seemed happy and um, not, not overly stressed about the, the length of the trip or where they were going. <clears throat> anything, anything about uh, the possibility of uh, some uh, tech glitches I mean, what was uh, in all the conversation that you had, uh, really very sense that maybe they have uh, some issue to tackle before they set for the voyage, set sail for the voyage. Welcome back, viewers. Now, Republic had an exclusive conversation with the day's biggest newsmaker, Kangana Renaud, from the fight for Monday to the rate card politics. Listen in as Kangana gets candid with the biggest pre-election interview. Look, um, as you can see, you know, I have not transformed in any way. If you could have seen me like, uh, you know, like uh, two or th three days ago when my uh, candidature was announced, I'm just the same person. I'm wearing my same clothes, the way I go to direct on my film sets. I'm just the same person. In fact, today people are saying that I have joined BJP, but uh, for, for a couple of years now, people are accusing me of being a, <laughs> being a BJP party person. No. Like Pro-Hindu mindset, they always um, talk about. Uh, yes, and uh, I've been actively uh, fighting for BJP agendas because I resonate with the party, I res resonate with the ideology and uh, overall uh, aesthetics of the party. Um, I don't see any, any significant changes in my life apart from the fact that I am now in the field and I am, um, you know, I am looking for uh, an active approval from people. How do you want to respond, Kangna, to the sexist remark and the rate card remark which was posed to you by the Congress politician? And she didn't even apologize about it. She just made an excuse that someone else was handling her Instagram account. How do you see those remarks on you post that? Look, um, I mean, of course, it's uh, beyond appalling to, to you know, I think probably this is the lowest level of mindset or the thinking where you, you, you ask a woman, you know, uh, what is the rate uh, of her, you know, like, what's her rate? It's the lowest level of thinking. It's, uh, um, uh, you know, there is no argument about that and everybody... Everybody feels so, regardless of her wanting or not wanting to apologize. Um, but uh, to me, uh, am I taken aback? Am I surprised? I am not surprised by it because the way Congress Party has always, um, you know, have been conflicted in their very fundamental ideologies is uh, um, is rather, you know, um, um, 
natural for them because you know on one hand they are calling me somebody who has a rate card on another hand uh, based on my you know the, my choice of clothing and on another hand they would go and uh, do dharna for um, the rights of burqa you know all of that and then they call themselves liberals as well um so they've been very conflicted and confused about what they want to be who they want to um align with and who they want to uh you know uh, res resonate or appeal to so i'm not surprised by this sort of a confused foggy brain foggy sort of a thinking that they are displaying did it hurt you or affect you and how do you see this mandi lok sabha where pratibha singh is contesting against you she will be contesting there's no announcement of the name right now but she says that where was kangna ranaut when there was a disaster in mandi look uh, how do i see this remark uh, of course you know like you are a woman and you, you can if you consider yourself in such a situation you would be definitely very upset and uh, in in a, in a way um you know you uh, double think your your you venturing into into uh, a place where you will be vulnerable to all sort of attacks on your character and your your worth uh, but having said that um you know the the, the huge amount of support that i got is uh, encouraging and uh, how do i pratibhasi pratibhaji she has been a very senior politician you know i think uh, when we were growing up from the time of my parents they were uh, they were in the you know but i think uh, i resonate with the bjp's uh, idea of uh, launching new people and i think congress party should also because pratibhaji has been very uncertain about and i think somewhere i read that uh, she she thinks that she's not uh, she doesn't have enough uh, i mean the age factor she, she says something yes. like that right like she, she doesn't want to call contest because because of her age something like that she said i mean i, I think i read that if i'm sorry if i'm uh, being mistaken but i think that's a that's a good idea because um look I, you know like we've seen her in our childhood when we were like really young and now we are also getting gray hair so i i think high time that you want to be the change even from that side we like to have a more young dynamic person but if not um i look i i'm not saying that i don't have um you know uh, i do have a lot of respect for what they've done but high time that um, new people are given a chance and uh, your question was that where was i um i was shooting because they chose people and they should have been here when it was flooded i was not the chosen person to represent by any party so i was doing my i was minding my own business to so to speak and apart from that the area was flooded it was not safe to come here and only the you know uh, uh, it was also um you know life threatening to be traveling to this place for a significant amount of time when the tragedy struck um did we lose yes my sister lost her house yes. um you know like we lost uh, many things you know there were a lot of uh, damages that happened but we were hoping that uh, the the leadership that has been chosen from here they do visit the lower areas also but they were completely absent from here so this question is uh, better suited to people who were in power not me Moving on viewers addressing a rally in Bijnor Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath held Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership over the past decade he said that Modi ki guarantee is implemented without any discrimination which is why 15 crore poor people have been the beneficiaries of his developmental schemes he also asserted that a push for viksit Uttar Pradesh will amplify PM's vision of viksit Bharat listen in और उत्तर प्रदेश को जो आशीर्वाद प्राप्त होता है इसीलिए हमने कहा कि महात्मा विद्युत के नाम पर मेडिकल कॉलेज बनना चाहिए और आज मैं आपको बधाई दूंगा कि आपका मेडिकल कॉलेज बना करके तैयार हो चुका अब आप देखें मेडिकल कॉलेज के साथ साथ यहाँ की सड़कों को हाईवे फोर लेन की कनेक्टिविटी कितनी अच्छी बेहतरीन कनेक्टिविटी के साथ हो गई यहाँ पर अन्य हरेक सेक्टर में यहाँ की ओडियो भी आज एक नई पहचान बना रही है आज यूपी में बेटी और व्यापारी दोनों सुरक्षित है पर्व और त्यौहार शांतिपूर्ण तरीके से मनाए जा रहे हैं कहीं कोई अराजकता नहीं है अयोध्या धाम में आप देख रहे होंगे और काशी में काशी विश्वनाथ धाम में अब तक तो दो करोड़ लोगों ने पिछले दो महीनों के अंदर दर्शन कर लिया आज पूरा देश आने के लिए आपको 
प्रतिदिन अयोध्या में एक लाख डेढ़ लाख दो लाख तक श्रद्धालु आ रहे दर्शन कर रहे ऐसे ही काशी में भी इतने लोग प्रतिदिन आ रहे हैं अनुमान करिए जहां पहले कोई नाम आने नाम सुन के करता आज लाखों की संख्या में आ रहे हैं लोग दर्शन कर रहे हैं सुरक्षित माहौल में वापस जा रहे हैं व्यापारी का व्यापार फल फूल रहा है पूरी मजबूती के साथ और अपने कार्यक्रम को आगे बढ़ा रहा है और इसी में मोदी जी ने भी संकल्प किया है विकसित भारत मोदी जी का संकल्प है विकसित भारत की परिकल्पना को साकार करना और संकल्पना के साथ हर भारतवासी को जोड़ विकसित भारत बने का जब उत्तर प्रदेश विकसित हो वाले लोग बार बार जानबूझकर हिंदू धर्म का अपमान करते हैं। इनका हर बयान बहुत सोचा समझा हुआ होता है राइट वी आर ज्वाइंट इन बाय मिस्टर एंड्रू मिडिल्टन ही इज डायरेक्टर ऑफ अपोस्टल्स ऑफ द सी बाल्टिबोर and i believe uh, that's the port where uh, the dali tragedy happened leading to the collapse of the bridge a very good morning to you mr middleton there in baltimore uh, good evening from india and uh, we we heard about uh, the tragedy and we have seen reports about uh, your involvement uh, with some relief and rescue subsequently can you tell us what really exactly happened and uh, how you came to know about this some dramatic uh, visuals there for the world to see Okay um so yeah we we're, we're a ministry to seafarers in the port of Baltimore on Sunday morning the crew reached out to me um asking if if we could do transport them to shopping as they were preparing to sail um to Sri Lanka and they wanted to be able to buy personal items toiletries and those kind of things just little creature comforts that they could have uh for what was going to be an extended voyage um down and around uh South Africa. So we were able to take them a uh, volunteer was able to take them shopping on on Sunday uh for about 5 or 6 hours. Um they went to Walmart, Target and Best Buy. They came back to the Seafarer Center for a, a little while. Um they went to our library and took some some books and magazines so that they would have those to read on board while they were at sea um monday morning they reached out to me again and said they had uh, two people that wanted to go shopping before they sailed um i was actually visiting ships that day so i was able to take uh, those two out um one of whom was the captain uh during our our drive to the shopping center captain and i had conversation um and he pretty much that was at at that point was when he told me that they were um sailing for Sri Lanka and they were going to take a route around South Africa in order to avoid the Yemen coast and mm. the Houthi attacks and and all the violence that's going on in that area um if i remember correctly he said that Good evening and welcome friends uh, Mafia Don Mukhtar Ansari died of a heart attack in a Banda jail in Banda jail in Uttar Pradesh uh, and after that we have seen some voices coming in or noises coming in of sympathy for him of support for him and demand of a probe into the circumstances of his death the question is who are these people same set of people who looked the other way when the dawn made a mockery of law and order in eastern uttar pradesh in the prayagraj varanasi mau belt 
for their narrow political objectives. Or oh, these are some set of people who fancy about Mukhtar Ansari as a wonderful host who served chicken biryani. Ironically, these are same set of people who would say that if you connect chicken biryani with Muslims, you are sort of marginalizing them, typecasting them. Let's try to understand why this sympathy mongering for a gangster. In fact, if you have to ask a question about what was the real face of Mukhtar Ansari, is speak to Piyush Rai, the son of Krishnanand Rai, the BJP MLA who was killed by Mukhtar Ansari's gang because he won a democratic election against uh, his brother Afzal Ansari who happens to be a sitting MP in fact of the outgoing Lok Sabha. Or ask those who had to live day to day out of fear, give hafta and chauth to the Ansari gangs in those geographies just to be able to survive without harm. We'll ask those questions. Let's begin with the headlines first. Gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari's death sparks political firestorm with opposition sympathizing with Ansari. <clears throat> Kangana gives it back after rate card slur says those who disrespect women don't belong to Mandi. Income tax department issues fresh 1700 crore notice against Congress party says will move top court now. Indies insult politics continues. Siddha Ramaya's son fires Gunda attack on Home Minister Shah. After United States and Germany, now United Nations wades into Kejriwal's arrest route. All right, welcome back, friends. A gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari has died while in custody due to a cardiac arrest while serving a life sentence at the Banda Jail in Uttar Pradesh. Ansari, a former five time legislator, was facing about 63 criminal cases involving murder, kidnapping, and extortion. For every one case, there must have been at least 10 of his criminal acts which went unnoticed or unaccounted because those who suffered had fear of the gangs or the Ansari gangs in those geographies. However, there is a lobby that seemed to be sympathizing with the Mafia Don. Here's a report and then I come back to discuss. Lodged in different jails of Punjab and Uttar Pradesh for most of the time since 2005, Mukhtar Ansari was once among UP's most dreaded Bahubalis, a Hindi word for strong men who are into politics. Ansari, convicted in at least eight criminal cases since 2022, was sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment for the 2005 sensational murder of BJP MLA Krishna Nand Rai. Rai had defeated Mukhtar's brother and five-time MLA Afzal Ansari from Muhammadabad in 2002 UP Assembly polls. Gangster-turned-politician Mukhtar Ansari has now died while in custody due to a cardiac arrest while serving the life sentence at Banda Jail. <laughs> His death has now sparked a political firestorm with the opposition sympathizing with Ansari. इस परिवार से हमारे बहुत अच्छे रिश्ते थे और ये परिवार सायद आजादी के लड़ाई में भी इस परिवार का बहुत बड़ा योगदान था
अगर जेल में किसी की मृत्यु होती है तो उसकी जिम्मेदारी प्रशासनिक अधिकारी जेल से लेकर के सरकार से लेकर सबकी जिम्मेदारी है As Ansari's death marks an end of four decades of crime and torture. The question is why is the lobby crying foul? Why is Mukhtar Ansari's blood-soaked politics being normalized? That is the burning question. All right, you saw those pictures of Mukhtar Ansari in his heydays atop a jeep and uh, making a complete mockery of uh, whatever the government believes is law and order in fact there are some pictures where he is carrying a machine gun in his hands and uh, in fact uh, the officer who arrested him while purchasing a machine gun was unceremoniously suspended and later forced to resign from services he is going to be there at 9 pm on the debate with arnab goswami dsp shailendra singh but uh, joining me for this conversation deshratan nigam political analyst leans towards the right we also have nawal kant and himant tiwari both senior journalists who have covered uh, the badlands of uttar pradesh from lucknow for a long time and they have an understanding of what uh, mukhtar ansari's death means uh, for that geography in eastern uttar pradesh and uh, we also have abbas hader spokesperson of the samajwadi party and i would want to begin with you abbas hader the kind of emotion that uh, one could sense in that sound bite of shivpal yadav your party's leader that kind of emotion we never saw sp leaders sparing for the victims of uh, the criminal acts conducted by those connected with mukhtar ansari in the 1990s and 2000s even mukhtar ansari himself abbas hader that's real double standards you think of your own narrow political objectives not for the people the citizens living it's not about those it's areas not about politics where they had to face the brunt of mukhtar ansari and his gangs no no it's not about politics see uh, mukhtar ansari has been a five time legislator in uttar pradesh and as we all know it is a basic political courtesy that we all extend to each other even in, in the parliament you would you never question the prime minister when in the parliament a tribute was given to atiq ahmed and up assembly a tribute was given to atiq ahmed and his brother ashraf the... so these are the basic political courtesy which we may extend to anybody who has died who has been a legislator with him he, he has been a legislator with shivpal so it is a very uh, normal thing one thing but the the head the bigger question is about the law and order about the situation in uttar pradesh because the judicial uh, the deaths in judicial custody has been the maximum in uttar pradesh there have been more than 952 people who have died in judicial custody in just 2 years in uttar pradesh the crimes are increasing it's rampant and it is a responsibility of the state to protect anybody who is in the custody of the government who is behind the bars any the people who are on road they are not protected they are not feeling safe and neither the people who are behind the bar they are not protected and this is not the first time which has happened to anyone okay. who has been in the police custody and the, the, they were, they have been question which have been uh, raised uh, from the from the family of muftar ansari the, you know he has been given poison there was a letter given to the court in barabanki that he has been given poison but i think uh, in time no due action was taken this this is a very serious issue this is not just about muftar ansari or one political prisoner a prisoner it's about many people who are in jail because you know as we have all seen that you know there have been shootouts inside the jails there have been multiple such incident which should not happen we believe okay you since you are saying that the law and order situation is really bad and uh, we should be talking about that let's try to understand the history sheet of uh, mukhtar ansari as i said for the for every one case that was registered and that uh, went through legal judicial investigation process there must have been at least 10 and let me go to nawal khan ji first uh, nawal khan aap bataye ke mukhtar ansari ka death hona uske mayne kya hain prayagraj varanasi mau gazipur ke logon ke liye jo 1990 ke dashak mein aur uh, 2000 ke dashak mein mukhtar ansari ka wo chehra dekhte hain jisko soch ke shayad abhi bhi sehar jate honge देखिए मुख्तार अंसारी के दो पक्ष हैं एक पक्ष ये है कि वो एक उत्तर प्रदेश के गैंग नंबर एक सौ इक्यानवे का सरगना था दूसरा पक्ष ये है कि वो चुनाव जीतकर 
विधानसभा में पहुंचा था दोनों रसुक आपसे मैं उसका डिस्कस करना चाहूंगा देखिए उसके खिलाफ पैंसठ से ज्यादा मामले दर्ज हुए थे इक्कीस से ज्यादा मामले चल रहे थे लेकिन उसके खिलाफ कोई सजा नहीं होती थी उसके खिलाफ उसको खाली जेल में बंद कर दिया जाता था लेकिन कोर्ट से कुछ नहीं होता था लेकिन पिछले कुछ सालों में मैं कहूंगा कि मात्र डेढ़ सालों में सात आठ केसों में उसको सजा हो चुकी है जिसमें से दो उम्र कैद की सजा है तो जाहिर सी बात है उसका बड़ा रसूख था बड़ी ताकत थी और नंदलाल ढूंगटा का अपहरण आपको याद होगा वो सिंधु पंचायत नेता थे और बड़े बिजनेसमैन थे देखिए जब जब पॉलिटिशियन उत्तर प्रदेश के मैं आपको बताऊं कि यहाँ पे जब नेता जो अपराधी थे बाहुबली थे वो पहले नेताओं को जिताते थे फिर उनको लगा मैं खुद क्यों नहीं जीत सकता हूँ उसके बाद इस तरह के गैंगस्टर आना शुरू हुए और एक जैसे पॉलिटिक्स में होता है कि हिंदू वोटर और मुस्लिम वोटर इसी तरह का माहौल पूर्वांचल में भी हुआ और एक तरफ मुख्तार अंसारी अतीक थे एक तरफ ब्रिजेश सिंह कृष्णानंद राय और तमाम लोग थे इस तरह का पूरा माहौल क्रिएट हुआ था लेकिन राजनीति की दखल आप इस तरह से समझ सकते हैं कि जो दो का वाराणसी का चुनाव लोकसभा का चुनाव हुआ था उसमें जो मुरली मनोहर जोशी बीजेपी के प्रत्याशी थे और अंत तक लग रहा था लगातार वो पीछे चल रहे थे मुख्तार अंसारी से और लास्ट में वो जीते हैं तब जीते हैं जो इस समय कांग्रेस के प्रदेश अध्यक्ष है अजय राय वो भी कांग्रेस से चुनाव लड़ रहे थे और उन्होंने चूंकि उनकी भी दुश्मनी रही है मुख्तार से तो उन्होंने अपने वोट ये कहा जाता है कि डलवाए मुरली मनोहर जोशी को तब मात्र बीस वोटों से जीतते थे तो राजनीतिक रसूल भी मुख्तार अंसारी के पास है हम लोग के लिए हो सकता है माफिया हो लेकिन एक बड़ा तबका है खासतौर से पूर्वांचल में वो उसको मसीहा मानता है और इसी जो मसीहा वाली ताकत है और इसी जो मसीहा वाली ताकत है आ, पूरी मैं ये कहना चाह रही करिए हाँ मैं कह रहा था कि जो उसकी मसीहा वाली ताकत है वही नेताओं को खासतौर से जो सेकुलर पॉलिटिक्स करते हैं या सीधे सीधे शब्दों में कहें जो मुस्लिम वोटों की पॉलिटिक्स करते हैं वो आकर्षित करती है और इसी वजह से आप देख रहे होंगे कि इस मामले में जिसमें अभी क्लियर भी नहीं है कि अभी इसकी जांच भी होनी है और जो घोषित सरकार की तरफ से किया गया है कि उसकी मौत हार्ट अटैक से हुई है उसको छोड़ करके लोग बातचीत कर रहे हैं कि कह रहे हैं ट्वीट कर रहे हैं कि ये जो है एक तरह की हत्या है कस्टोडियल हत्या कस्टोडियल okay. बेटा अगर मुझे दस सेकंड दे तो एक बात और मैं कहना चाहूंगा कि कस्टोडियल तो हत्या में आएगा जी और ये देखिए आप इस पर सोचिए ना कि तो पिछले दिनों में आएगा इक्यावन कस्ट जी इक्यावन कस्टोडियल हत्या हुई इक्यावन इस, इस सात साल आठ साल के योगी के कार्यकाल में पैंसठ हुई थी समाजवादी पार्टी के कार्यकाल में लेकिन पैंसठ और इक्यावन को जोड़ लीजिए तो अब तक कितनों में विपक्ष ने मुद्दा उठाया है कस्टोडियल डेथ का ठीक है सही बात है पर जो मेरे को बात समझ में आ रही है मैं हेमंत तिवारी जी से पूछना चाहूंगा कि ये जो रॉबिन हुड वाली इमेज बनाई जाती है जैसे अभी नवलकांत भी कह रहे थे कि माफिया की जो एक छवि थी कि वो मसीहा है कुछ एक तबके के जिसको राजनीतिक पार्टियों ने दोनों ने समाजवादी पार्टी और बहुजन समाजवादी पार्टी ने भुनाया तो और फिर ऐसे में माफिया को लगता है कि भाई हम नेता को जिताते हैं तो हम खुद ही बन जाएं और उन्होंने जो चार नाम दिए उदाहरण दिए कि बहुत सारे पूर्वांचल में बने मुख्तार अंसारी उसमें से एक थे पर ये जो बात हम करते हैं माफिया के मसीहा होने की ये मीडिया क्रिएशन नहीं है हेमंत तिवारी जमीन पर जो लोग सफर करते हैं आम आदमी उनसे पूछिए कुछ कुछ खास मामलों में शायद कम है एकदम से नहीं है तो नहीं कह सकते हैं कारण एक आप अगर गाजी तो मऊ इन इलाकों में जाइए तो एक खास कम्युनिटी के लोग इनको अपना मजरिया मानते हैं ये सच्चाई है लेकिन एक बड़ी चीज जो मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ नवल खान मेन्सेंट द इंसिडेंट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड नाइन जनरल इलेक्शन एंड वॉट आई पर्सनली फील द सेम सीनियर इज गोइंग टू बी रिपीटेड इन दिस ऑन गोइंग जनरल इलेक्शन ये 2009 में एक चीज बताना भूल गए जब मुरली मनोहर जोशी लगभग चुनाव हार रहे थे लोकसभा का वाराणसी में मतलब नरेंद्र मोदी के जाने के पहले पांच साल पहले जो चुनाव हुए थे जब लगा मुरली मनोहर जोशी चुनाव हार रहे थे तो उस वक्त वहां बड़ा मैसेज गया और एक लोकल पोलराइजेशन हुआ 
लोकल पोलराइजेशन फिर से बता रहा हूँ स्थानीय स्तर पर धार्मिक आधार पर ध्रुवीकरण हुआ और हिंदू वोट एक अभी जो हो रहा है अभी जो सीन में आज पूरे दिन भर देख रहा हूँ कल उनके डिमाइस के बाद वो भी इसी लाइन पे जा रहा है जा रहा है जिनको मुसलमान मतों की जरूरत है वो अपनी सिंपैथी दिखा रहे हैं चाहे किसी पार्टी के नेता हो तो मुख्तार अंसारी के लिए और मुख्तार अंसारी के लिए अगर सिंपैथी की बात करेंगे और ये चीज मुसलमानों के बीच जाएगी तो जाहिर सी बात है उन सारे इलाकों में इसकी विपरीत प्रक्रिया होगी रिवर्स रिएक्शन जिसको हम कहते हैं पोलराइजेशन तो मुख्तार अंसारी okay. की बहुत एक साधारण घटना के तौर पर मैं नहीं देखता हूँ बहुत बड़ी बात बता रहा हूँ मैं साधारण घटना के तौर पर नहीं देखता हूँ मुख्तार अंसारी इस बात के सिंबल हो गए हैं जो पॉलिटिकल एक्टिविटीज आप देखी गई जो रिएक्शन देखे गए कि मुख्तार अंसारी दो के पार्लियामेंट्री इलेक्शन में उत्तर प्रदेश की जमीन पर खास तौर से ईस्टर्न यूपी में एक बड़ा इशू हो सकते हैं इशू क्या होंगे इशू में होंगे इशू होंगे तो स्वाभाविक रूप से सपा या बसपा खास तौर से सपा जिनको मुस्लिम वोटों की वाकई दरकार है मुस्लिम वोटों की ओर ज्यादातर है भी इसमें कोई शक नहीं तो वो सिंपैथी लेने की कोशिश करेगा उसका जो रिएक्शन होगा तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के बिना कुछ किए धरे बैठे बैठाए इसका लाभ होगा उत्तर प्रदेश का इतिहास इसका रिसेंट पास इस बात का गवाह रहा है इसलिए मैं इस बात की आशंका और संभावना आशंका तो हटाए मैं इसकी संभावना देखता हूँ कि मुख्तार अंसारी अपने मरने के बाद भी एक बड़ा पॉलिटिकल इशू बनने जा रहे हैं जी हेमंत तिवारी यू हैव यू हैव गिवन अ वेरी डीप जर्नलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ दिस डेवलपमेंट बट वॉट इज माई टेक अवे इज दैट एसेंशियली वॉट वी आर ऑलरेडी सींग देश रतन निगम इज that there is brazen political opportunism already panning out in the form of the support and sympathy that's being showered on the family of mukhtar ansari in a way it's unfortunate rat desh ratan nigam it's not sympathy you see it's absolute brazen political manipulation of the death of mukhtar ansari and then we have some people who talk about with nostalgia the kind of chicken biryani mukhtar ansari used to serve them irrespective of and they would be willing to or they were willing to overlook his criminal antecedents just because they were happy being with a don and uh, for whatever reasons enjoy that company unfortunately desh ratan nigam Deshratan Nigam, can you unmute yourself? We are not getting you. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Abhishek, let me make it very clear that the underworld and the world of crime has lost a gangster, a mobster, and a murderer, extortionist, a rioter, and a terrorist, and uh, whose shoes cannot be allowed to be filled by anybody, whosoever high he may be. and that is where the role of the yogi government comes into the picture which they are capable of ensuring that such kind of shoes criminal shoes are never filled secondly the first case was lodged in 1978 and the conviction because of the political patronage that the samajwadi party gave and many other political parties were in cahoot with such kind of mafia dons the witnesses used to get hostile or they were you know abducted or murdered finally the conviction took place after 44 years in 2022 and there are eight other convictions and he would he had right. gone for life there was no chance of his coming right. out of the jail and therefore i don't think there would be anybody interested yes. in murdering him and 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 he was gone for good and therefore to create such kind of you know atmosphere by trying to create a martyr of a criminal is 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 abhorrent and and should be uh, you know avoided at all cost and uh, such kind of sympathy uh, there should not be any right. sympathy for such people and uh, please remember his role in mau riots absolutely and and he was presently moving with you know guns on a open jeep this was his role and 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 the society has to think yes. very seriously and introspect ourselves whether they are from muslim community or hindu community such elements and the robin hood kind of propaganda which is being spread should never be there because those who live by fire die by fire and the karmic cycle today is complete 
you get punished yes, for exactly your crimes is, right. in this world only please remember yeah, that and anybody who's trying to get political mileage of it are playing with fire let okay. me tell you if you if you polarize there has to be counter polarization so don't no, play into that it, it seems both the sides both the sides both the sides the sp and the bsp a little openly and the bjp may be silently because as uh, hemant tiwari mentioned that if uh, a polarization happens of the minority community a counter polarization ipso facto happens from the majority community also abbas hader you know two points come out of this one that what what is being seen as sympathy is actually not sympathy but absolute brazen manipulation to polarize and to benefit from this development from this death of mukhtar ansari and two abbas hader you are absolutely silent on the fact that for 20 years 30 years n number of crimes went unpunished it's only now that the government resolved and convictions started happening that you are questioning the law and order it's actually double standards of bas hader no sheik i would i would like to answer both of your question first of all uh, it is not sympathy it is a concern of the opposition that extra judicial killing or you know uh, if 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 a person dies in in a judicial custody there is a suo moto there is a, a standard Can't of waiting wait till the investigation data, is over for inquiry, that no data inquiry has to take place. Because, i'm sorry no data inquiry i'm audible to you i'm saying can't we wait for the investigation to be uh, over so, before so, we come so, to a conclusion so whether a, this is extra judicial etc because remember there is a probe already ordered a magisterial probe ordered yeah. there is a post mortem that has happened yeah so that's a that's the operating procedure that's that's nothing new basically we have we have requested for our inquiry under the supreme court's guidance so that there shouldn't be because here big names have been taken you know he has taken names of big fishes so basically you cannot uh, uh, you know you cannot expect a independent inquiry so that is one thing it's not just about one person it is about people who are behind bars people who are in jail it is about the security of many politicians cms and former chief minister okay. they are in jail we have seen what about them if you if if similar thing might happen to them god forbid so there has to be something there has to be particular procedure which needs to be followed and in this case you have seen that they, on the 26th was taken to a banda medical college where there no physician was available as the family has said there was a surgeon over there and in 49 he was discharged normally a patient from icu shifted to a general ward as we all know but he was then uh, sent back to jail so there is there has been you know something which 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 uh, you know draws attention which is of prime concern to anybody and we are not we are not saying that you know a, a person was committed but a crime but abbas sadar you are papering he was over his prize in the jail he was praying his prize in the jail but that does not mean that abbas sadar do the judicial killing that cannot abbas. be expected in a rule of law like us we are not china neither russia neither we can ever be russia or china we are india we are a democratic okay abbas country. you see you are jumping the gun i think abbas so you are jumping the gun i'm just abbas you are jumping the gun but uh, i'll come to you deshwantan nigam and things should be brought to you know to the table that what what has really happened there is already an inquiry going on trust the process to be completed then you can raise questions and, and you you, you of course question. have the option no, of going to the supreme court nobody is stopping you and the family the but abbas so hadar but you are 2005 when samajwadi party was yes, in that's Nepal, a more important one yes all of the due process after that he has got convicted 2 3 years back so and and what about other cases there are people who have got 106 cases even mukhtar ansari was going to he was a witness in one of the cases against these people he he was 106 cases is protected by the government so you you won't what won't you never talk about them the bich government will not talk about conviction of those people who had been protected i believe that a state should not have state protected criminal and ordinary criminal a criminal should be dealt with the you know with the strictest punishment possible but according to the law you cannot go against the law you cannot discriminate between no, what, is, is what, what is what is what is a heart attack to do what is a, what is what, I, what is heart attack to what is one heart attack to do with with process of law i mean uh, you are you are clearly connecting the unconnected uh, uh, no, uh, abbas you know, hadar but you did not answer my question and let me try to understand you are focusing on only one aspect which is a matter of probe so let's not jump the gun abbas hadar but the question of absolute ruthless brazen polarization being sort of the muslim vote bank uh, nawal kant aap mujhe quickly agar bata paye ke kis tarah ka aakda ye rajnitik partiyon ke dimag mein hoga man mein hoga 
जब वो इस तरह का पोलराइजेशन का सोच रहे हैं पूर्वांचल की कितनी सीट है जहां पे मुख्तार अंसारी जैसा हेमंत तिवारी कह रहे हैं मुख्तार अंसारी एक फैक्टर हो सकता है देखिए मऊ आजमगढ़ बलिया बनारस इस तरह की तमाम सीटें हैं जहां मुख्तारी मुख्तार अंसारी का रसूख है और वहां पे मुस्लिम वोट बैंक अच्छी खासी संख्या में है विपक्ष की रणनीति ये है कि जो मुस्लिम वोट बैंक सीधे सीधे उनके पास पूरा आ जाए उसके अलावा थोड़ा सा दलितों का पिछड़ों का कॉम्बिनेशन हो जाए तो वो कई सीटों पर जो अपने तरीके से उसको हासिल कर सकती है लेकिन जैसा कि हेमंत जी ने कहा कि जो एक काउंटर पोलराइजेशन होता है वहां पे इस वजह से हिंदू भी बहुत यूनाइट होते हैं और ये देखना होगा ये दिलचस्प होता जा रहा है कि सीधे सीधे हिंदू मुस्लिम की पॉलिटिक्स शुरू हो गई विपक्ष okay. और बीजेपी के बीच में और अब देखना ये होगा कि आगे ये पड़ना किस तरफ भारी होता है सीधे बीजेपी को फायदा दिख रहा है बीजेपी का फायदा दिख रहा है बीजेपी का फायदा दिख रहा है फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज ऑन सम सीट द समाजवादी पार्टी वुड बेनिफिट I'm not sure about the BSP, but on some seats, obviously, with counter polarization, BJP would benefit. But the fact of the matter is, Desh Ratan Nigam. Unfortunately, I've run out of time, but I have to wrap up. Unfortunately, the fact of the matter is that Mukhtar Ansari was a gangster, a mafia, who took upon himself politics as a career and thought that that's. a way to protect himself from the long arms of the law it was only a matter of time of course and uh, when a resolute government came mukhtar ansari had to face consequences of his actions he has died of a heart attack we should not be getting nostalgic about any aspect of his personality but just focus on the fact that there were hundreds and thousands of people who suffered in the heyday of mukhtar ansari's uh, mafia dom and they have a sigh of relief now and everything else is politics on that note thank you so much deshratan nigam nawal kant hemant tiwari and abbas hader for joining us sir. and uh, before we slip into a short break republic media network is proud to announce the launch of our exclusive nazar ka tika campaign encouraging all indians to come ahead and vote at republic we believe Voting is the cornerstone of our democracy, driving progress and safeguarding freedom for all. Join us in our Nazar Ka Tika campaign and vote for a new India. Thanks for watching. Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents. Yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements. कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटका में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटका को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है एस्पर्जेंस ऑन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिवर्ड इंस्टीट्यूशन वे हैव नॉट सिंपली got rid of article 317 they have dismembered the state of jammu and kashmir by mischievously misinterpreting both article 3 of the constitution and article 370 of the constitution hum is judgment se satisfied nahi hai mera manna ye hai ki supreme court supreme zarur hai magar infallible nahi hai hum apne ek legal haq ke liye lad rahe the हमको किसी से खैरात की जरूरत नहीं है पांच एकड़ जमीन की 600 एमिनेंट लॉयर्स हैव नाउ रिटर्न टू द चीफ जस्टिस ओवर द इशू और हमारे जैसे वकील हम डिफर कर सकते हैं व्यूज के जुडिशरी के जो जजमेंट को हम कह सकते हैं कि ये ठीक नहीं किया परंतु हम उनके कार्य करने के और उनको ये सर्टिफिकेट देने के एंटाइटल नहीं है कि अच्छा कर रहे हैं या गंदा कर रहे हैं रिलीफ दे दिया तो बहुत अच्छा है नहीं मिला तो गलत है हमारी जुडिशरी कानून के अंतर्गत काम करती है विद इवन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वेइंग इन ऑन द इशू 
not just the government, some even in the opposition backed the move. It's very alarming and very disturbing to read this story because uh, the entire, I mean, India is a free country. Our forefathers have fought the British to get freedom into this country. And if in the most important, out of the four pillars, our judiciary is one of the most critical pillars of our freedom movement. And if that, a lot of lawyers feel is compromised, it's extraordinarily alarming and worrisome. Is there an attempt to selectively undermine the judiciary? Let's debate. Trending burning question powered by Reva University and Century Club Prime. Thank you for joining us. A trending burning question. Kejriwal is getting support. Very little support from India, but a lot of support from countries like America, countries like Germany, and now the United Nations. United Nations has given a comment about Kejriwal's arrest. While saying that everyone's rights must be protected, etc., the same UN, which has been wishy-washy on how UNRWA or UNRWA employees, UNRWA members in Gaza were disguised as terrorists, the same United Nations is giving advice to India that uh, they hope Kejriwal's rights are protected. Why are these countries speaking out of turn? That's a trending burning question. US and Germany raising questions about India's democracy. India are taking a strong exception. Yesterday, India had lodged its strong objection and protest with the senior official from the US Embassy with regard to the comments made by the US State Department. The recent remarks by the State Department are unwarranted. Questioning of democracy leading to a diplomatic tiff. Ich komme zurück auf den Fall des verhafteten Oppositionspolitiker Arvin Kejriwal. Nachdem ihr Kollege den Fall am Freitag kommentiert hat, wurde der stellvertretende Botschafter in Delhi vom dortigen Außenministerium einbestellt. Also Indien und Deutschland ein großes Interesse an einer vertieften Kooperation haben und ähm, da auch vertrauensvoll ähm, zusammenarbeiten. Insofern würde ich jetzt ungern hier aus ähm, vertraulichen internen Gesprächen berichten. All of it seems to be an orchestrated attack on India's democracy. And the face of the campaign, Bangladeshi politician journalist Mushfikul Fazal Ansari. Ansari wanted in his country for spreading disinformation and booked under terror charges. But the question that remains is, who is behind the malign India attack campaign? That is the trending burning question. Alright, on the debate this evening, we have Charu Pragya, spokesperson of the BJP, joining us live from the national capital. Akash Deep Muni, political analyst leading towards the Amadni party, also on the debate. Live from Chandigarh and Utsav Chakravarti, who is the executive editor, uh, director of uh, Hindu Action, joining us live from Washington, D.C. Uh, let me go across to Akash Deep Muni. Akash Deep, uh, are your allies in I dot N dot D dot I dot A or are your allies in the U.S., the U.N., and Germany. Why are they so interested about Kejriwal? And who are they to lecture us? Yeah, Niranjanji, uh, I, I won't be able to answer your question because I am not Ahmadi party or I am not from India Alliance. I am a simple political analyst. Hmm. But what I can answer is that I must say that the United Nations, uh, US and Germany must restrain themselves as told by uh, Ahmadi party also many a times yesterday on your channel also that they should restrain themselves in our internal affairs. However, one point I want to make is that uh, uh, although the country should not make the statements, but the journalists who are reporting, like CNN, BBC and other channels who are reporting Al Jazeera, uh, they, what they are reporting is concerning for both of 
uh, Indians and uh, abroad also. How Indian democracy uh, is being throttled by some, uh, which seems it's being throttled by some of the actions of enforcement directorate, central agencies, and also central government. We have seen that um, how the it seems like that that enforcement directorate is biased when they say that they don't have a money trail in this case and they keep a setting chief minister inside jail. The interesting factor is that uh, you might be worried as a journalist because you reported uh, against uh, uh, the Air India scam and today the scamster uh, when he joined BJP is out and the case is closed. So it's a somewhat uh, worrying situation in India. Uh, however, I must say again that uh, United Nations should be more worried about international affairs rather than interfering on our internal affairs. And uh, please don't uh, search any scapegoat on this. But the one thing is I want to point out is the MEA should uh, be answerable to why our diplomacy is failing and how, why these things has not been covered till now. Yeah, let, let me go across, uh, you know, to Charu Pragya. Let me get in the BJP's version to this. Uh, Charu Pragya, uh, you should also, do you think India must also take a stand on the way Trump is being treated in America about uh, the $400 million fine that is being levied, uh, you know, on Donald Trump? You should also be vocal about uh, the serious allegations of Israel that members of a UN agency, which is called UNRWA, UNRWA, were involved in the terrorist attack on Israel. They were members of UNRWA, but were actually uh, terrorists in disguise who entered Israel and killed Israeli citizens, right? We should also speak about these things, you know, to give it back to them in a language that they also understand. Niranjan, a very good evening to you and good evening to all our viewers. Let's understand one thing very clearly and very categorically. India of today, the new India, never minces its words. And we do give it back, to quote you. At whatever platform, this giving back is required and it is done so in strong language which cannot be translated to mean anything else other than what we mean. So let's put this aside and be very clear that we are in a position where Indian diplomats, Indian ministers are speaking their mind and are putting India's position and India's thought on the global platform without any fear. The second thing we should remember is that we are a sovereign nation and we do not want interference of any other country in our internal affairs. And that is one reason why we also refrain from interfering in any other country's internal matters. Terrorism not being one of them because terrorism is something which unites the globe and we have always spoken out against terrorism, whether it's an attack somewhere or the situation in uh, Palestine and Israel. India has always spoken out. But beyond that, we do our job and we expect the same from the other countries. MEA has spoken to diplomats, the deputy chief of mission from the USA, uh, spoken to the Germans, and we have seen Germany backtrack. But see, there is this particular misinformation which is being floated by certain sections of the media, which is encouraged by certain uh, politicians in the country. And let's put that also as clearly across as the first statement. So uh, their political motives are served by spreading half news. They say that a chief minister is behind bars, but they do not state that he's behind bars for skipping nine summons by the enforcement directorate in a scam, in a scam where money trail has been established yeah. by the same Supreme Court. So we actually, I think, need to communicate harder, faster, better. And it has to be done from media outlets like you. And I thank you for picking up this topic today. <clears throat> Let me get in our uh, third. Yeah, what's your fact check? You can fact check her and I'll go across uh, to a third my, panel. My, what's your fact check? Just five seconds, five fact check. Uh, ASG, who is the uh, lawyer of enforcement directorate, Mr. Raju, told in the court, and it is written in the court proceedings also, that money trail has not been established. They are finding one, quote unquote. So, money trails till now has not been established. Thank mm -mm -mm. you. The previous ASG judgment spoke... Uh, you can check. The Mirajan, previous judgment the spoke of a money domain. trail of Anybody 350 crore. 
uh, and I, that I has gone into Amadmi Party coffers. And based on that say, evidence, plus more, the CM is behind bars. Based on that, it says the, the other ministers were behind Google. bars. Common man, please Google. Uh, Raju said or not in court. It is in court proceedings that there has not been established. What Raju said in court trade. and what Kejriwal said in court is being misrepresented sufficiently by our Madhmi Party. The bottom line is, if you can uh, get a bail, okay. let, let me get Nutsav also. Right? If a Lalu Prasad Yadav can also get bail, you can't point fingers at the court can, today. Can I? Remember, can I get in a word? The Chief Minister remains behind bars. Charu, I agree with you. I agree with you. To keep him there. How can you agree with her? Yeah, Charu Pragya, I, I, I do agree with you today. that. Uh, no, one, one second, one second, one second, one second. No, 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 one second. I'm not, I'm not agreeing with her. I, I am not, I am not agreeing with her on, on. I'm not an I'm not a judge. I am. Oh my God, you hear me? Don't selectively quote me. One sec, don't, don't, don't selectively quote me. One sec, one sec, Charu, Charu, Charu. I, he's selectively quoting me. I was about to complete my sentence when he butted in and uh, tried to uh, draw his uh, conclusion. I was saying that I agree with her to the point that there is selective reporting on this issue. When these uh, so-called uh, Western media outlets, fading Western media outlets, uh, say uh, and, and fail to report, you know, they say one thing, but they fail to report the fact that he'd skipped nine summons. And I, I think that's a record for any Indian politician, let alone yeah. a chief minister. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's really sad because even the, even the prime minister, let me remind you, when he was summoned, when he was just a chief minister, even when he was summoned, when he was a chief minister, had responded to those summons and he didn't create this, uh, this, this and, hangama, this hype, this drama. He just went, he attended the summons, he followed the rule of law, right? So it's one thing to do yeah, drama yeah, yeah. and then, you know, start this Ashirwad, the Ashirwad do Kejriwal ko campaign, right? That's, that's okay. You have the right to do that. But it, it's also political drama. It, it makes for good television. And before elections, of course, you it's can drum up and, and get some but sympathy. If it gets you good, expert, uh, you know, I'm some votes. Yeah, good Let for you. I want to go across Utsav. Charu, Charu, just hold on. Charu, hold on. Charu, hold on. Utsav hasn't spoken. One sec, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'll come to you. Charu, just hold on. Utsav, Utsav Chakrabarti. Yeah, yeah. See, Utsav, you know, I think India is being very, 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 you know, careful i don't know why they're being careful about you know these things i mean they of course they may respect the us they may respect germany they have done their bit to call you know diplomats from these countries and and register their protest but we have never spoken out of turn to take a stand on uh, the violence in america right uh, the racist attacks in america and so many of our so Indian students the, are also being killed. So we should have spoken about the law and order uh, situation. But, yes. So that is what a mature democracy and a mature yes. statesman, uh, you know, a country which has a lot of good statesmen do. Uh, they respect uh, international relations. They respect uh, their foreign allies. And they respect even those who may not be fully allied with them. And that's what a mature nation does. So I, I really like the fact that India has responded in measure as needed. And I hope it will continue to do that. Now, I just want to, because I live in Washington, D.C., I just want to make a comment on the State Department uh, question answer and the people involved in it. So more than the fact that America made a statement or the State Department made a statement on this, it is important for everybody in India and around the world to understand that America is full of lobbies. They are multiple power centers jostling to influence politics both inside and outside the country. And the person who asked the question... Utsav, can I just pause you there for a second and ask you a follow-up question? Yes. Can I just pause you there for a second and ask you a follow-up question? Uh, I was reading about it. A lot of people have, uh, have made comments about Arvind Kejriwal at different stages of his career post the service, right? The administrative yeah. service. Uh, whether it was his NGO or receiving funding at different stages of his act activist career has uh, got funds from the Ford Foundation, for example. It's public knowledge. It's not a state secret. It's, it's, it's not uh, blasphemous to talk about it, right? It's been reported. Uh, it's being discussed even now. His links to the Ford Foundation, for example, right? So would it be fair to say that there are lobbies? Uh, you, you mentioned lobbies and that's why I, I picked up this point. Obviously, these lobbies are at work. Can you, can, is it fair to say that, Utsav? Yes, absolutely. Just, just the journalist who asked the question 
is very well known in Washington DC for being a strong voice of the Jamaat yeah. Islami which is a pan islamist organization he is originally from Bangladesh but he has been pro Jamaat Islami which includes Jamaat Islami in Pakistan as well as the Muslim Brotherhood in the Middle East yeah. he has been known in this area for that support structure for a really long time and the fact that he asked the question you know the least we can infer from it is that there are sympathetical groups in america linked Motivated. to the pan islamist organizations that are trying to trying to promote kejriwal i'm not saying that kejriwal is linked with them what i am trying to say here is that they find benefit in promoting yeah. kejriwal and that is something that people in india have to understand and figure out why they are finding benefit in promoting kejriwal yeah no why would they find benefit in promoting kejriwal it's a very very interesting question very interesting question charu why would they why why would they look at kejriwal as as uh, as an ally why see the thing is niranjan in the past there have been links established between the aam aadmi party and separatist outfits in other countries in the past there has been links established between khalistani leaders and aam aadmi party oh, we yeah. saw the state in which punjab was and not just once they tried to do it a second time this habit of creating anarchy to get their own way is a classic trademark aam aadmi party style and that is why there are interest groups abroad which feel that we can give them a little bit of money have them say what we need and uh, today if that person is behind bars how does it hurt them to make a state or two here and there at the end of the day it doesn't make any difference in india neither in the election in indian judicial process nor in the indian electoral process and that is very clear to the people of this country but instead of getting into technicalities niranjan let's simplify things here let's simplify things and get it down to a point where we understand that all the press conferences which are being taken by aam aadmi party leaders no no, no don't, don't simplify don't simplify hold on talk about hold on hold on don't candidate. simplify don't it yet about the money don't simplify Talk yet. about increased commission. Don't, 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 don't one second, one second. Just, just pause there. Pause there. Pause there. मतलब इट्स हिलेरियस. चारों पाउस. पाउस दे. पाउस. 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 Let me take that question. Let me take that question to Akash Deep. Just pause there, because you made a very interesting point about separatists and and uh, dancing with separatists. When I say dancing, I don't mean it literally, but but of course, like you know, uh, yeah. dallying with them. Yeah. Let me ask Akash Deep. Akash Deep, is it true or not that there there is this Khalistani uh, terrorist called Pannu, who recently yeah. put out a video, yeah. right, saying that he funded Kejriwal, and yeah. he uh, he has said something like uh, he's put a number to it. He's saying that pro Khalistani groups gave sixteen million dollars to Arvind Kejriwal since twenty fourteen. Now. Sixteen million dollars, right? Is a lot of money, and in twenty fourteen, when Kejriwal was just beginning to make inroads in Indian politics, sixteen million dollars. You know, I knew we will bring in. Pan you think that's what she was referring to, Charu? You think that's that, that's uh, the reference being made by Charu? Absolutely. No, no, I'm not bringing. We can make more. Uh, I mean, she brought it up. References. We can talk about photographs of Khalistani leaders with Ahmad Ali party leaders. We can talk about the fact that even now, when Raghav Chadha was in London, Niranjan, he was he had a photograph with one MP, and that MP is a separatist sympathizer. You know, Niranjan. Yes, now, you're right. She's talking about Preet Gill. Now, Preet Gill has now, want, uh, has asked for a separate Khalistan. And Preet yes. Gill no, no, has no. made several. She's an enemy of India. Sorry. Which are anti-India. She wants the breakup Khalistan. of India. Right. Now, now Niranjan. Okay, now, can you get Akash Deep to respond to that? Yes, Akash Deep. The moment now, now if you allow me, then I'll uh, unravel all the uh, uh, everything. Yes, go ahead, please. The party Akali Alliance. What they have been doing in Punjab. What they have done since go ahead, 1995 go ahead. in Punjab, okay, and how, how under the rules, uh, under the uh, uh, Akali and Bharat Janata Party rules, how they supported Khalistani, how Akali has always supported Khalistani with whom Bharat Janata Party was in alliance for a longer period of time. How they have supported no, 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 no. You, you know what? Punjab, even your current mean, alliance partner, Congress, Congress Punjab, leaders have left enough. the party That's in Punjab, 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 stating exactly this: that you are bad for national security. And our party party government in Punjab has trouble for the whole country. Can you deny that? Okay. And Pannu, you are talking about Pannu. Now, point to point, I'll read it. 
Pannu statement. Pannu was not talking about anything else, but he was warning Kejriwal. He was warning Kejriwal that in Tihar jail, Khalistani will be... Why is it be, that all your statements need be to be deciphered and translated in this vague manner? Accountable. Okay. Listen to Let's me. Listen to me. I'm talking at what it was at face value. Pannu gave money. His institution, organizations gave money to Ahmadmi Party. He was, he was warning. आप थोड़ा सा पढ़ के आइए थोड़ा सा न्यूज पढ़ के आइए मैं कोट कर रहा हूँ नहीं आप थोड़ा सा पढ़ लीजिए बिकॉज ये ना आपका जो मनी ट्रेल है ये ओपन नॉलेज हो चुका है ठीक है ना ये पढ़ के आइए वाले डायलॉग वाले दिन चले गए हैं क्योंकि आप मेरे सामने तो ये बोल रहे हैं लंडन वन एंड ओनली पिक्चर कम्स आउट इट इज विदेट भी Akashdeep, Akashdeep and Charu. Nobody can hear. Nobody can hear you both. One second. Charu, Charu, one second. Charu and Akashdeep. Nobody can hear you both. One second. Charu, Charu, pull back. Charu, pull back. Charu, pull back. Charu, pull back. Akashdeep, pull back for a second. Pull back for a second. Because you know nobody can hear you when you're screaming. Uh, both of you are talking about what Pannu said. Let me tell you what Pannu said. Pannu is first of all a terrorist. Let me tell you, Akashdeep, I agree with you. He's a terrorist. You can't take him at face value. We think the guy is a joke. Pannu is a joke. Okay. Pannu is a joke, but he has said, Kejriwal had a meeting with them in Gurdwara, Richmond Hills in New York in 2014, where uh, Kejriwal allegedly promised to release the 1993 Delhi Blast convict Devinder Pal Singh Bullard in lieu in lieu of financial support. That's the statement he's made, right? It's being reported also everywhere. I mean, first of all, I agree with you. We don't take him seriously, but he has said that, right? Now you can't say that the BJP paid Pannu. To make such an allegation, you can't say that the government of India has Pannu, uh, you know, Nobody cornered. Yeah. That is why Pannu made yeah. that statement, right? Yeah. Then he's the same guy who targets the Modi government all the while, right? And he's the same guy who claimed that uh, we tried to agencies try to target him. He's a joke. He's a joke. Then you can't, you can't, uh, you you can't, you can't be, uh, you can't be, you know, uh, flirting with Khalistani elements on one hand. And Charu was right. And let me go across to Utsav. Let me give Utsav the, the last word. Utsav, uh, do you think the time has come for India to speak up? You know, openly make a statement. Hope that uh, Trump gets a fair trial. Hope that Trump gets a fair trial, right? See, hope that uh, hope that the law and order machinery uh, in the U.S. the U.S. administration, yeah, they should. I think we should speak out. The time has come, isn't it, Utsav? We should. We should speak out. Would you back India doing that, taking a more aggressive stand? I think it's time. I think I would back the extremely capable Foreign Minister of India, Sri Jayashankar, to take the right decision. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I have been living in this country for the last 25 yep. years, and in the last six to seven years, the amount of diplomatic success and the amount of uh, image building with backed up information and growth that India has achieved is really Im immense, and it's really appreciable. So I will let it let the Indian government and the capable uh, you know officials in the Indian Foreign Ministry decide what to do, and I have full faith in America in doing the right thing when it comes to not interfering in foreign uh, foreign relations with India, and I think better minds will prevail. I think there will be lobbies in America which will continue to push this narrative. By the way, the same journalist Mushfiq who asked the question about Kejriwal was also very close to the Rahul Gandhi event uh, last year in Washington D.C. Uh, and we have a picture of him with Rahul Gandhi, so that doesn't mean yeah. much. But just just sharing it with our audiences in India, uh, there fair? are there are a What's lot of elements in America from different uh, international uh, uh, groups, organization, lobbies that are not happy to see India succeed as a country and to see India succeed as a democracy. So they will be putting their pressure on America and on the other countries around the world. to make india look bad before the election that's a tried and tested technique for a really long time there will be media outlets like al jazeera openly helping them so i i was i was seeing our uh, my colleague here quoting al jazeera or mentioning al jazeera uh, al jazeera is not a friend of india and will always do everything to undermine india so just for everybody's information so you know we have to understand what things are we do not need to overreact yeah. to it Uh, we should have faith in india's democracy and in india's judiciary i i think india is one of the strongest democracies in the world has yeah. 75 years of record proving it so let chips fall yeah. where they fall but it is important yeah. that you understand that there are lobbies out there working against india 
Yeah, and, and, my, and, and the last, you know, I just want to make a last point that, uh, you know, I don't know how many people know, but the United, the same United Nations that, that hopes that the rights of Sri Arvind Kejriwal will be protected, uh, I hope that uh, they come out and make a statement on employing terrorists as well, Charu. Charu, I think the time has come for India to also issue a statement. When Israel revealed that six UNRWA workers, UNRWA, a nodal agency of the UN, six of them were part of the wave of terrorists who breached the Gaza-Israel border and massacred civilians inside of Israel. Right? I think India should have Niranjan, issued a statement on these yeah. terrorists inside the UN. For uh, for terrorism, we'll always issue a statement. Employed by the UN, Other than paid that, by the I UN. Think India's foreign policy is uh, been walking on a path which is absolutely perfect and there's no deviating from it. But before we end, I'm just going to take 10 seconds to make an observation here. Aam Aadmi Party is making a political statement yeah. even today by preferring to side with foreign forces intent on breaking India than dealing with no, the corruption I'm mess that their own party has left behind in the capital of the country. I want 10 seconds. They are strongly rebuffed. Okay, you can strongly rebut. I've run out of time. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Okay, Akash Deep. Akash Deep. Akash Deep. Five seconds. Five seconds. I have to end. I have to end. I have to end. I have to end it. Come on. Talk about. Charu, let him. Charu, give him ten seconds. Charu, give him ten seconds. Charu, give him ten seconds. Charu, I'm running out of time. Give him ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. Charu, give him 10 seconds. I want to make it that by by joining name of Kejriwal with anti-national forces. Working outside is a good propaganda of Bharat Janata Party. But remember, you know, after Ahmadi Party came in Punjab, one we are not writing articles from him for him in Washington. Okay, We're running out of time. Thank you very much. That's all the time I had. Charu, 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 Uksab and Akash Deep. I gave you 10 seconds. I gave you 10 seconds. I've run out of time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've run out of time. Utsav, Utsav, Akash Deep and Charu. Arnab is joining us next in two minutes. Arnab joining us next in two minutes. Thank you very much. Arnab, Arnab live on the debate in two minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, we are joined in by Mr. Andrew Middleton. He is uh, director of Apostles of the Sea Baltimore. And I believe uh, that's the port where uh, the Dali tragedy happened, leading to the collapse of the bridge. A very good morning to you. Mr. Middleton there in Baltimore, uh, good evening from India. And uh, we we heard about uh, the tragedy and we have seen reports about uh, your involvement uh, with some relief and rescue subsequently. Can you tell us what really exactly happened and uh, how you came to know about this? Some dramatic uh, visuals there for the world to see. Okay, um, so yeah, we're, we're a ministry to seafarers in the Port of Baltimore. On Sunday morning, the crew reached out to me um, asking if, if we could do transport them to shopping as they were preparing to sail um, to Sri Lanka. And they wanted to be able to buy personal items, toiletries and those kind of things, just little creature comforts that they could have uh, for what was going to be an extended voyage um, down and around. Uh, South Africa. So we were able to take them, a uh, volunteer was able to take them shopping on, on Sunday uh, for about five or six hours. Um, they went to Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. They came back to the Seafarer Center for a, a little while. Um, they went to our library and took some, some books and magazines so that they would have those to read on board while they were at sea. Um, Monday morning, they reached out to me again and said they had uh, two people that wanted to go shopping before they sailed. Um, I was actually visiting ships that day, so I was able to take uh, those two out, um, one of whom was the captain. Uh, during our, our drive to the shopping center, Captain and I had conversation. Um, and he pretty much, that was it. At that point was when he told me that they were... Um, sailing for Sri Lanka and they were going to take a route around South Africa in order to avoid the Yemen coast and mm. the Houthi attacks and, and all the violence that's going on in that area. Um, if I remember correctly, he said that, that taking that route was adding, I think seven extra days to, to the, to the voyage. Um, yeah. 
But in in my conversation with uh, the volunteer that took them out on uh, Sunday and, and my interaction. Mukhtar Ansari Saga Unveiled. Over four decade reign of terror ends. Why is the whitewashing crime lobby crying foul? Debating tonight at 9 p.m. Hindu dharm mein shakti shabd hota hai. Hum shakti se lad rahe hain. Ek shakti se lad rahe hain. Indian Alliance ne apna ghoshna patra shakti ko khatam karne ke liye kiya hai. मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन सबसे स्वरूपा माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है मिस्ट्री ओवर यूएस यूएन रिमार्क्स ऑन केजरीवाल UN wades into row over Kejriwal's arrest. Is US engineering anti-Indian narrative? Debating tonight at 10 p.m. Dunya ki sabse purani bhasha Tamil bhasha Hindustan ki hai. मैं दुनिया को बताना चाहता हूं सबसे पुरानी भाषा का गर्व प्राप्त है वो मेरी तमिल भाषा है मार्च ऑफ टेरर इन पाकिस्तान चाइनीज वर्कर्स Killed in suicide bomb blast. Is Pakistan in a position to garner security to the Chinese? Debating tonight at 10:30 p.m. Congress court. Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents. Yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements. Hindu dharm mein shakti shabd hota hai. Hum shakti. Mukhtar Ansari saga unveiled. Over four decade reign of terror ends. Why is the whitewashing crime lobby crying foul? Debating tonight at 9 p.m. studios of Republic TV. It's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Swami on the debate at 9 presented by 
Amity University, powered by R.P. Sanjeev Goenka, Century Club Prime and Policy Bazaar, co-powered by Bell Kolu. Good evening and welcome viewers. Viewer 63-year-old Mukhtar Ansari, who has died of a heart attack, was not and will never be a hero or a Robin Hood. He was and will always be a convicted gangster, a ruthless mafia don, a man responsible for many killings, murders, extortion and loot. And like Atik Ahmed, who also died a few months back, the story of Mukhtar Ansari is one of being the oppressor. An oppressor with political approval and the participation of political parties in Uttar Pradesh. Mukhtar Ansari and Atik Ahmed are a blot in the political history of Uttar Pradesh and the political history of India. And as far as Mukhtar Ansari is concerned, let me say it as straight as I can. Being dead does not make him great. For years, for decades, people like Mukhtar Ansari and Atik Ahmed have been built up like heroes by sections of the media. As Robin Hoods, as do-gooders, and an organized industry of Bollywood and Lutyans media have made glowing documentary on people like them. Puff piece interviews have been done with them, and even films have been made around them, and people like them. And viewers, I come on air tonight to tell you that the death of Atik Ahmed and Mukhtar Ansari means the end of an endless reign of mafia dons and smugglers and extortionists and underworld dons in India. Shameless people in our country, anti-national people in our country, people who can even sell their, sell their nation. These are people who have gone and watched cricket with Dawood Ibrahim, benefited from suspicious charity matches organized by underworld dons in the Middle East and praised Mukhtar Ansar's, Ansari's biryani in his house. Today I come to you to request you to do everything that you can to let the gen younger generation of this country know how bad things were when the Congress, BSP and the SP were in power. Because it was not just Congress, BSP and SP in power, it was also Dawood Ibrahim, Yaqub Memon, Atik Ahmed and people like Mukhtar Ansari who ruled the roost. And I can say to you tonight on this Friday evening, anything can be allowed to happen, but we must never go back to that India. This is a new India. And we are happy that the time of Mukhtar Ansari's and Atik Ahmed's and Dawood Ibrahim's ruling the roost in this country has come to an end. Debate one tonight, viewers. Mukhtar Ansari. And what I think he signifies. Debate number two this evening, the inside story of how there was a planted question, so the UN and the US State Department, a planted question published by anti-India people to tarnish our image. Debate number three, that's going to be an interesting angle. And debate number three, why Pakistan is seeing the Chinese leave and can give no security guarantees as the Chinese prepare to leave Pakistan. That's debate number three. And here are the headlines this Friday evening on The Debate Tonight. जिला गाजीपुर की मैं बात करूं तो वहां पे लोगों ने रात पूरे दिवाली मनाई उन्होंने हमेशा कहा है कि बाबा का आशीर्वाद रहेगा तो हर एक दिन न्याय हमें जरूर मिलेगा गैंगस्टर मुख्तार अंसारी डेथ ड्रॉस द कर्टेंस ऑन हिज फोर डेकेड रेन ऑफ टेरर इन उत्तर प्रदेश इनकी मौत से ठंडे के घेरे में है तो देखिए न्यायालय को इसमें स्वयं but the opposition demands a probe over the dreaded gangster's death alleges conspiracy. They are calling me somebody who has a rate card. On the other hand, 
uh, based on my you know the, my choice of clothing and on other hand they would go and uh, do dharna for um, the rights of burqa you know all of that and then they call themselves liberals as well Kangana gives it back to the Congress over the rate card slur says the people of Mandi will give a reply Congress gets fresh income tax notice to the tune of 1700 crores party says will move the top court now After the United States and Germany now the United Nations wades into the Kejriwala arrest row And China halts two projects after deadly attacks on its citizens in Pakistan and ladies and gentlemen jailed gangster turned politician mafia don mukhtar ansari died after he suffered a heart attack in jail the dreaded mafia don terrorized people in the varanasi mao belt for politics and the polarization of votes the opposition failed to address the severity of the criminal allegations against him and today that same opposition is crying foul over mukhtar ansari's death calling it a conspiracy ladies and gentlemen the reality of what this man was all about must be known we must all talk about it let's debate a dreaded gangster murderer and extorter the death of don neta mukhtar ansari has drawn curtains on his four decade reign of terror in eastern up Ansari earned notoriety in the crime world due to rivalry with another mafia turned politician Brijesh Singh in the late 1980s. In 1996 he transitioned into politics leveraging his influence to secure a seat as an MLA from Mau constituency for five times. Voter list mein naam hai aur card hai अगर इसके बाद कोई विरोध करता है तो हम तो रहे करेंगे ना खबर करिएगा वो ले जाके मजिस्ट्रेट फांसी थोड़े लटका देगा His tenure was marred by accusations of inciting communal violence and exploiting religious sentiments क्या जाली मुक्तान खोल कर सुन लो जब तक तुम नहीं मानोगे मुक्तार अंसारी तुम्हारे जुल्म का पंजा मरोड़ता रहेगा मुक्तार अंसारी तुम जाली में से मुकाबला करता रहेगा During the 2005 riots, Mukhtar Ansari was seen carrying a firearm in an open SUV on the streets of Mau. Increased pressure on political parties after the cold-blooded murder of BJP MLA Krishnanand Rai led to Ansari's arrest in 2005, after which he never came out of jail. The dreaded gangster alleged threat to his life while in jail meri jaan ka khatra hai aur meri hatya karane ke maqsad se hi mera jail se transfer karaya gaya hai 60 criminal cases including 16 murder cases since 1978 but the convictions happened only in 2022 such was his terror स्वाभाविक है उस समय सरकार मुख्तार को सपोर्ट कर रहे थे मुलायम सिंह यादव जी की सरकार थी पूरी तरह सपोर्ट था जिस समय मुख्तार सरकार के समर्थन से अपने चरम पे था उस समय हमारा अकेले स्टैंड लेना मेरे लिए भारी पड़ा और मुझे सर्विस भी गंवानी पड़ी इवन दो दो बार जेल भी जाना पड़ा मुझे लेकिन मेरा एक हौसला बुलंद था ऊपर वाले भरोसा था मैं बाहर आया और आज आप सबके बीच में सकुशल बैठा हूँ और जो व्यक्ति ये सब कर रहा था प्लानिंग आज वो खत्म है The death of Mukhtar Ansari has given terrorized victims a sense of justice. ये एक आतंकवादी का अंत हुआ उसके एक जुग का अंत हुआ है और उसके जितने आतंक रहे हैं और मेरे क्षेत्र में मैं बात करूं या मेरे पूरे जिला गाजीपुर की मैं बात करूं तो वहां पे लोगों ने रात पूरे दिवाली मनाई मैं तो ये शान की जिंदगी नहीं है अपराधी की जिंदगी का यही हसर होता है और उसी का ये नतीजा है. The question is do we need to sympathize with someone who was accused of hundreds of crimes and made people suffer in the region
That's the debate. Why sympathize with Mukhtar Ansari's death? My first guest tonight is a former DSP of police in Uttar Pradesh and he is the person who had invoked the Prevention of Terrorism Act against Mukhtar Ansari. And let me tell you viewers that when Shailendra Singh had invoked POTA against Mukhtar Ansari, he did not have the support of the politicians. There were threats made against him. So it is only appropriate that the man who arrested Mukhtar Ansari is my first guest tonight. Shailendra Singh Ji, Namaskar, I am Arnab Goswami. Bol namaskar Arnab Ji, and I am Arnab Goswami. When you have... Namaskar Arnab Ji, and I am Arnab Goswami. Ji, today Mukhtar Ansari has been death. So what do you want to say about them? The people who are our leaders, the people who are our younger audience, there are many people who जिनको पता नहीं होगा कि जिनको बाहुबली रॉबिन हुड कहा जाता था उनका असली चेहरा क्या था तो जरा आप उसके बारे में बताइए और जब आपने एक्शन ली उसके बाद आपको क्या भुगतना पड़ा उसके बारे में बताएं बिल्कुल बात सही है कल जब मुझे ये सूचना मिले कि मुक्तार अंसारी के कार्य करने के कारण ने अपने ही कर्मों की सजा पाई है कोई उसने जो मतलब भय का साम्राज्य पब्लिक के लिए पहले कायम किया था और पिछले तीन साल से जब से ये पंजाब पंजाब जेल से यहाँ लाया गया उत्तर प्रदेश में आप देख रहे थे कि लगातार ये माहौल बना रहा था कि हमको जान का खतरा है हमको लोग पॉइजन दिया जा रहा है और इस नाते ये प्रेसिडेंटी बना रहा था कि हमको यहाँ से उत्तर प्रदेश के बाहर किसी जेल में ट्रांसफर कर दिया जाए नेहला के हस्तक्षेप से लेकिन दुर्भाग्य देखिए उसका ट्रांसफर तो नहीं हो पाया उसके पहले वो स्वयं कार्डियक अरेस्ट के कारण उसके डेथ हो गई उसके अंदर एक भय प्राप्त हो गया था कि जो साम्राज्य हमने कायम किया है वो साम्राज्य आज के सामने मेरा सब खत्म हो रहा है वर्तमान सरकार योगी जी की लगातार गैंगस्टर एक्ट के तहत उसके संपत्तियों को जब्त कर रही थी उसके लोगों को लगातार जेल भेजा जा रहा था या एनकाउंटर में मर रहे थे या देश छोड़ के भाग के भगोड़ा घोषित हो चुके थे तो उसका सब कुछ तो खत्म हो रहा था और वही डर उसके अंदर बैठ गया जिसके कारण उसका कार्डियक कार्यक्रम चल हुआ तो जिसने कर्म किया था वही फल उसको मिला है और क्या बोलूं शैलेंद्र जी जब आपने उनको अरेस्ट की उस समय क्या रिस्पांस था मतलब पॉलिटिशियंस की सपोर्ट थी उनको मैंने जो सुना है दैट यू आर टारगेटेड व्यूअर्स यू मस्ट रिम Shailendra Singh is the man. Yes, please go ahead. आप बोलिए, please. ये आज से 20 साल पहले की बात है, जनवरी 2004 की बात है. और जब मैंने 25 जनवरी को इनसे लाइट मशीन का रिकवरी किया, इनके फोन कॉल्स हम लोग सुन रहे थे और उत्तर प्रदेश सरकार के कहने पे ही सुन रहे थे. होम डिपार्टमेंट के परमिशन से सुन रहे थे. तो उसमें जब ये बात आई थी कि जम्मू कश्मीर जैसे सेंसिटिव एरिया से राष्ट्रीय राइफल से एक लाइट मशीन गन लेके भगोड़ा वहाँ से सैनिक जो है वो भागा हुआ है और वो इनको बेचना चाहता था और ये फोन कॉल्स में कह रहे थे कि हमको वो किसी भी कीमत पर इस लाइट मशीन गन को बरामद करनी है अपने पास लेनी है खरीदनी है क्योंकि इनका विरोधी जो थे कृष्णानंद राय उनकी बुलेट प्रूफ गाड़ी केवल राइफल के अगेंस्ट में बुलेट प्रूफ थी तो राइट जिसकी क्षमता मारक क्षमता ज्यादा होती है एल उसको भेज देती थी तो अगर मैंने ये रिकवरी उस समय न की होती तो दो साल पहले कृष्णानंद जी की हत्या हो गई होती और जब ये रिकवरी हुई तो पोटा कानून एग्जिस्ट करता था ये पूरा आतंकवादी पूरा कानून के तहत आता था मैंने पोटा लगाया लेकिन मेरा दुर्भाग्य कि जिस चीज को गुडवर्क होना चाहिए था शाम तक होते होते बेडवर्क हो गया मुलायम सिंह जी की तत्कालीन अल्पमत की सरकार थी जिसको ये सब समर्थन देते थे मुख्तार जैसे लोग और उन लोगों ने सरकार ने पूरा ये डिसीजन लिया कि नहीं मुख्तार अंसारी को किसी भी कीमत पर बचाना है और मुझ पर दबाव बनाया जाने लगा कि आप कोटा कानून हटाइए आप इसका नाम हटाइए और जब मैं नहीं सहमत हुआ तो फाइनली मुझे पंद्रह दिन बाद रिकवरी के ही अपना इस्तीफा देके बाहर आना पड़ा और मैंने इस्तीफे में लिखा कि वर्तमान सरकार उत्तर प्रदेश की जो चल रही है वो मायावत अरे वो मुख्तार अंसारी के इशारे पर चल रही है माफियाओं के इशारे पर चल रही हम पब्लिक सर्वेंट हैं हम जनता के सेवक हैं हम इसलिए नहीं भरते हुए कि किसी माफिया के कहने पर हम काम करेंगे और ये चीज मैंने लिख के गवर्नर को भेजा और उस समय मीडिया में इस चीज सामने आई पब्लिक के बीच में आई और लोगों को पता चला कि नहीं 
वर्तमान सरकार किसके लिए काम कर रही है उनके तो आई है जनता के लिए लेकिन माफियाओं के साथ खड़ी है और यही कारण है कि आज ऐसी सरकारों को लोग खारिज कर रहे हैं अब जनता जागरूक हो गई है जो लड़का 20 साल पहले पैदा हुआ आज वो युवा वोटर है उसने दुनिया देखी इंटरनेट का जमाना है ग्लोबल उसकी सोच है वो पूरा वर्ल्ड देख रहा है कि सब कुछ ट्रांसफॉर्म हो रहा है जिस मुस्लिम देश के बात दुबई की करते हैं वहां पर आप देखिए किस तरह का कानून है जरा सा भी कोई अपने इधर उधर नहीं कर सकता है सख्त कानून है सिंगापुर जिसका उदाहरण दिया जाता था कि माफियाओं का राज रहता था रातों रात वहां सब चेंज हो गया खत्म हो गया और कहां से कहां प्रोग्रेस कर चल हो गई वहां पे तो हमारे देश का भी युवा आज देख रहा है कि हमारा प्रदेश क्यों नहीं बदल रहा है और यही कारण है कि आज योगी जी को दोबारा लोगों ने अपार समर्थन देकर वापस लाया आज यहाँ इन्वेस्टर समिति होती है तो लाखों करोड़ रुपए का इन्वेस्टमेंट आता है यहाँ पे अब उत्तर प्रदेश मॉडल की बात नेशनल ने इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे की जाती है और जनता इन लोगों को लगातार सर आंखों बैठा रही है मैं तो आज देख रहा हूँ मीडिया के माध्यम से कि सोशल मीडिया पर किस तरह से कुछ खास पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज के नेताओं ने मुख्तार अंसारी के प्रति सिंपैथी दिखाई ये दुर्भाग्य है उनकी बुद्धि का मैं कहूंगा कि शायद हर ली गई है भगवान ने हर लिया जब किसी का विनाश करना होता तो सबसे पहले उनकी बुद्धि हटाते हैं तो इन नेताओं की बुद्धि हर लिया भगवान ने और इनको अपने कर्म सजा इस इलेक्शन ईयर में स्वयं दो महीने बाद चल जाए इन लोग कहाँ पे है जी नहीं नहीं वो वो ये बात तो राजनीतिक होगी मगर मैं मगर मैं ये कहूंगा अंत में कि जिन राजनीतिक दलों को आज भी जो विवश हैं मुख्तार अंसारी को समर्थन करने के लिए आतिक अहमद जैसे गैंगस्टर्स का समर्थन करने के लिए विवश हैं क्योंकि इनकी कंपल्शन है इन्होंने काम किया ऐसे लोगों के साथ शैलेंद्र सिंह मैनी मैनी थैंक्स बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद हमारे साथ समाजवादी पार्टी के विवेक सायलस हैं तारिक अहमद लारी भी हैं एस से आसिफ सोहेल हैं हमारे साथ शांतनु गुप्ता है मतलब कैमरा भी आ जाए एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव विद अस यशोवर्धन आजाद फॉर्मर स्पेशल डायरेक्टर आई बी एंड अ वेरी सीजन एंड रिस्पेक्टेड आई पी एस ऑफिसर यशोवर्धन आजाद आई वॉन्ट स्टार्ट विद यू इज देर एनी डाउट इन योर माइंड दैट इट वॉज बिकॉज ऑफ पोलिटिकल पेट्रोनेज दैट माफिया डॉन्स लाइक मुख्तार अंसारी वर अलाउड टू फ्लरिश That's the first question. The second point is that with the death of Mukhtar Ansari, has this come completely to an end, or does this survive in pockets of Uttar Pradesh still, the mafia culture? Well, let me start. Uh, let me start, Arda, by saying that it is a reflection of our polity that dreaded gangsters like uh, Mukhtar Ansari flourished in in. in some parts of our country bihar up even other places and definitely uh, they are backed by the by the ruling establishment otherwise no mafia can actually survive uh, without pockets of support so this is extremely important and that is why when any incident in respect of these people takes place immediately there is either a politicization of the incident or a communalization for the simple reason if mukhtar ansari wasn't a member of party or jumping parties across and helping whenever he was helping himself there would have been no outcry over his death in the jail and the second part uh, 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 which you uh, asked is that glorification uh, is something which is extremely unfortunate let me tell you that there are only two critical issues relating to this death and it shouldn't have been politicized number one is whether medical attention was given to him uh, uh, properly and number two whether he was poisoned because that is the allegation a judicial inquiry has been ordered and as far as the poisoning goes you know it's a toxicology report which gives you this that comes after four weeks and it will be absolutely clear in the judicial inquiry whether it has been done or not and therefore and and the last point which is very important or now by feel now is that out of the 60 cases in this uh, in which this man was involved in five there was already conviction i mean if if he were to live he would be living uh, throughout his life in jail and it did not serve any purpose for the state or the police to to knock him out i mean in fact it was serving their purpose because he was getting convicted 
and it was improving the crime, criminal uh, crime record. It was improving the law and order. It was giving a kind of a message to the other mafia that this kind of activities will not survive. And therefore, uh, given these two points, it is obvious that such dreaded gangsters, if, if their rule is going to end, ultimately is going to be benef benefiting everyone. It should go as a message, not only in UP, but also across the states in other places, because mind you or not, there are certain parties still who are inducting uh, these mafias in some and, places. And I want to, no, uh, Yashavardhanji, I also want to bring in the aspect of the media. Before I continue this conversation, it is a known fact that sections of the media used to lionize these people. I don't know what they got out of them. There is one particular anchor who used to keep saying that every time I went to Atik Ahmed and Mukhtar Ansari, they served me very good biryani. They served me delicious food. These were people with a lot of tehzeeb, with a lot of tehzeeb. And they used to serve me very good tandoori chicken. And I kept telling Mukhtar Ansari that he makes delicious food. This is not accidental, Shantanu. This is deliberate. The attempt was right made enough. to give the this impression that these are very good people. It was part of the same vote bank culture that the media also suffered from. And they, they were responsible for building Yaqub Memon, Dawood Ibrahim, Atik Ahmad, Mukhtar Ansari and the whole lot of them. So do you want to make a comment on that? And also, Shantanu, along with that, the kind of statements that have come from Samajwadi Party and BSP today. Exactly. When I Is saw the Samajwadi Party Twitter handle today, I was so surprised and aghast that it started with Shri Mukhtar Ansari Ji. And then yes. they said whatever the Shok Sandesh they had to say. So for Samajwadi Party, Ji. Samajwadi Party, he's not a gangster, he's not a terrorist Mukhtar Ansari, he's Shri Mukhtar Ansari Ji. That's how uh, Akhilesh Yadav treats him. And we, we know that how Mukhtar Ansari's and Atik Ahmed, the word, who should have been in jail, were in assemblies and parliament. And it's still they're catering. You know, in 2022 election, in 2022 election, Mukhtar Ansari's son got uh, the ticket from Samajwadi Party coalition. And in 2024 election, his brother is getting the ticket already. Right, so they're still for, for for the vote bank. They're still giving food to the family, and you rightly said sections and sections of the media gave cover fire to them. Oh my God, as you said, the biryanis are good, the tezib is good, right? And and ask Puneet Rai, ask as the son of uh, Krishnanand Rai, that how hundreds and hundreds of families are destroyed by these gangsters in UP, in UP, and it, it was only post 2017 that how Yogi Atnat pinned all these dreaded uh, organized mafia. They were, they were kidnapping mafia, cheating mafia, car chowri mafia, rangdari mafia, multiple rapes and murders in their name. And they were, they were, some of them were not even FIR'd, some of them were not in jail, some of them flew jails, some of them flew courtrooms. And then these 10,000 cases, SITs are formed. And now UP is what UP is. That we are, when we do, when, when UP does an investment summit, we get 34 lakh crores of investment. Because now UP is a safe place, right? So I think uh, I think though though he he died uh, 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 during the Ramzan during the Ramzan month, I think so it's a godly it's a godly justice that happened yesterday in Uttar Pradesh. Yeah, and and uh, and I'd like to I'd like to ask Vivek Silas. Vivek, I can understand why you are supporting Tariq Ahmed Lari and Vivek first Vivek, because for a long time for many years. You built up this mafia. They used to become your vote bank catchers. They used to do the contract extortion <coughs> industry. They used to share the loot with you. They used to give you money. Plus, they used to terrorize local people that if you don't vote for this party or that party, then we will use the gun against you. You also allowed them to have their private armies, to have their private guns, private machine guns. Uh, women were raped, kidnapped. There was open extortion and loot that was going on, Tariq Lari, these are realities. You cannot run away with these realities. And in fact, murder was, um, you know, just a daily affair at that point of time. Police officials were killed. 400 bullets were pumped into Krishnanand Rai's uh, body, right? And we know exactly what happened, the way in which Avadesh Rai was killed. He was one of the challengers at that point of time. But you used to call these people Bahubali. Kya Bahubali hai, ek number ke kair hai. 
इनको आप लोग तारीख लाड़ी बाहुबली बाहुबली रॉबिन हुड नॉनसेंस एक नंबर के कायर हैं लोगों को मार के लूट के गन कल्चर ला के और उसके बाद पता नहीं फिरौती करते थे एक्सटोशन करते थे व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन समाजवादी पार्टी एंड बीएसपी एंड पीपल लाइक मुख्तार अंसारी इनको रॉबिन हुड बताया जाता था और ये मीडिया भी मीडिया की भी प्रॉब्लम थी रीड की हड्डी नहीं थी दे हैड नो स्पाइन है ना अभी भी नहीं बोलते अभी भी वो बोलते मुख्तार अंसारी एक्स एम एल ए आतिक आतिक अहमद पोलिटिशियन दे विल नॉट कॉल दम अ गैंगस्टर एंड ओवेसी बाई द वे आसिफ सोहेल इज से गाजीपुर बिलवेड सन एंड ब्रदर ऑन ट्विटर ही एज सेट गाजीपुर बिलवेड सन एंड ब्रदर अभी भी हीरो गिरी करने की कोशिश हो रही है शांतनु अभी भी ये लोग यही बात कर रहे हैं अभी तो सुधर जाइए विवेक साइलेंस वाई यू डूइंग दिस हाउ पी दिस इज ब्लड पॉलिटिक्स अ पर्सन डजेंट बिकम ग्रेट बिकॉज इज डेड यस यस विवेक साइलेंस यस नाउ और नाउ प्लीज लिसन टू मी वेरी वेरी केयरफुली एंड प्लीज गिव मी अनइंटरप्टेड टाइम माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू यू हैज मुख्तार अंसार the answer is absolutely no he has never been in the samajwadi second question has muktar ansari ever fought an election from the samajwadi party symbol the answer is absolutely no you talked about abbas ansari today right very nice i'm very glad you talked to him i talked about him is muktar ansari son who is he is a mla and he is a mla from the nda he supports mr narendra modi you should tell him you should tell the viewers they should know the reality you should have the gut to tell that muktar ansari son is a supporter of mr narendra modi who is the prime minister of the country say in your report someone took the name of mr brijesh tom dick and harry can claim to be anybody supporter that doesn't no no one made one made any tom dick and harry can claim to be anybody supporter that's absolute rubbish i'm getting a counter from shantanu let him debate with you one versus one aapne mauka diya wait 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 aapko sunna padega expose him let me i am not completed Let me expose him. Let me expose him. Abbas Ansari. Abbas Ansari. No, 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 no. I'm not. You have to listen. 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 अरे वो बोल रहे विवेक साहब है सबकी सुनूंगा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आपको भी मेरी सुननी पड़ेगी उसके बाद हाँ बोलिए कोई रोक नहीं रहा है विवेक साइलस बोलिए आपने उन लोगों को पूरा मौका दिया बहुत पीड़ा हो रही है आपको बहुत मौका दिया गया है पीड़ा तो होगी ना कि तरीका नहीं है पीड़ा तरीका नहीं है कि आप गैंगस्टर्स के साथ बैठ कर ये काम करेंगे गैंगस्टर्स के साथ कड़ी पारों के साथ बैठकर आप ये काम करेंगे आपको गुस्सा क्यों है मुख्तार अंसारी मारेंगे कौन क्या करेगा इस पर वाई आर यू एंग्री मुख्तार अंसारी वॉट अरेस्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव इट वॉज समाजवादी पार्टी गवर्नमेंट एंड ब्रिजभूषण सिंह हैज मोर केसेस देन मुख्तार अंसारी एटी एट क्रिमिनल केसेस ब्रिजेश सिंह हैज राजनाथ सिंह देवर ऑल्सो द चीफ मिनिस्टर फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश फ्रॉम द भारतीय जनता पार्टी मुख्तार अंसारी वॉज वेरी मच डियर इन उत्तर प्रदेश वाई ओनली ब्लेम द समाजवादी पार्टी Muktar Ansari fought the Lok Sabha election from the Bahujan Samaj Party. Because you people, from Varanasi. Because why do you, because why do you, you people have to connect it? Because to the Samaj because Party. because see, I think I am talking about no two people. I am talking about two people oh together. Oh my God! I am talking about two people together. आपको सुनना पड़ेगा अभी देखिए विवेक, 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 विवेक लिसन, विवेक लिसन. By the way, I am not only blaming you. I am also blaming sections of the media, who just eat biryani, eat with him. Blame the hero, make them. I also blame them. You don't blame them. Blame the chief minister of Bharatiya. No, no. But you have to understand it. No, I have with me. Okay, okay. One minute, one minute, one minute. Just one minute. Can I get Rajesh Kumar Pandey also on air, please? 
कहना है कि राजेश कुमार पांडे होने कहना है कि राजेश कुमार पांडे होने राजेश कुमार पांडे इज ऑन एयर विवेक जी विवेक जी एक मिनट सी विवेक आई थिंक मिस्टर विवेक इज अंडरस्टैंड मिस्टर विवेक इज शाउटिंग आउट ऑल द पॉलिटिकल नेम्स मुख्तार अंसारी वॉज वेरी स्केड मुख्तार अंसारी वॉज वेरी स्केड ऑफ योगी आदित्यनाथ एंड द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट इन उत्तर प्रदेश मुख्तार अंसारी वॉज वेरी कंफर्टेबल विथ एस पी एंड बी एस पी एंड कांग्रेस दिस इज द रियलिटी एंड इफ यू आर से The Rajbhar's party had 12 to 15 MLAs, and one of those MLAs, one of those MLAs is Mukhtar Ansari's son. Then what this goes on to prove? What this goes on to prove? You can have any political links at any level, but you will not be spared if you are a mafia don. That is the message which goes today. Now my question to Rajesh Kumar Pandey is this: Mr. Pandey is a former IAS and founder member of the UPSTF, former IPS. Mr Pandey can you hear me Yes I can hear you I'm hearing you My straight Anandji. question to you today is Mr Pandey I'm hearing you Many people yes. don't know many youngsters many people below the age of 30 today 30 35 may not know the details about Mukhtar Ansari I think it's important for people to know if I'm telling people tonight on the program that there was a time you was in this country 15 to 20 years back when gangsters and underworld dons had joint ventures with politicians you could rape extort kill at will this is a reality aur is pe tareekh lari ko gussa hone ki koi zarurat nahi ki sachai to mr pande bolenge mr pande is this true or not you are a founding member of the upstf can you tell me what the situation was at that time kya aap bolne nahi de rahe ho मैं तो बिल्कुल आपको बोलने दूंगा पांडे जी की बात सुन लीजिए मानेवर अर्नब जी आप बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं देखिए नब्बे का दशक नाइन्टीज की बात मैं कर रहा हूं नब्बे के दशक में पुलिस बहुत बैकफुट पे थी नब्बे के दशक में मोबाइल फोन नहीं थे नब्बे के दशक में सीसीटीवी कैमरे नहीं थे इन्वेस्टिगेशन प्रॉपर जैसे होनी चाहिए नहीं होती थी मैनुअल जो आपके गवाह थे वो कोर्ट तक पहुंच नहीं पाते थे आप सिर्फ इसी से समझ लीजिए कि सत्रह साल की उम्र में पहला मुकदमा लिखा गया था मुख्तार अंसारी के खिलाफ और पहला कन्विक्शन चौवालीस साल बाद 2022 में हुआ एक और ग्लेरिंग एग्जाम्पल मैं आपको बताऊं कि जब ये पहला पहला, पहला जब कोयले को ब्लैक गोल्ड कहते थे उस जमाने में मैं नाइन्टीज की बात कर रहा हूं मैं तैनात था उस समय सर्किल ऑफिसर सोनभद्र में सोनभद्र की ओपन कोल फील्ड्स जो एनसीएल की थी वहां से कोयला भर भर के नंबर दो का चंदौली की कोयला मंडी में आता था वहां उनकी रंगदारी के लिए डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स में आपस में राइवलरी शुरू हुई राइवलरी इस हद तक पहुंच गई कि ट्वेंटी ऑफ जनवरी नाइनटीन को विश्व हिंदू परिषद के कोषाध्यक्ष नंद किशोर रूमटा जो इतफाक से बहुत बड़े कोयला व्यवसायी भी थे इन ग्रुप्स ने जब उनके ऊपर रंगदारी के लिए और तमाम चीज के लिए प्रेशराइज करना शुरू किया मुख्तार अंसारी ने उनको किडनैप करवाया मैं एफ की बात कर रहा हूं पहले वो किडनैप हुए उसके बाद उनका मर्डर हो गया मर्डर के बाद चार्जशीट हुए चार्जशीट के बाद ट्रायल हुआ नहीं उनका लड़का बार बार पुलिस को ये कंप्लेन करता रहा कि साहब मुझे और गवाहों को धमकाया जा रहा है जान से मारने की धमकी दी जा रही है और हमें अदालत तक पहुंचने नहीं दिया जा रहा है पांच मुकदमे लिखवाए उसने लेकिन फाइनली क्या हुआ ट्रायल में ये बरी हो गए मुख्तार अंसारी वहां से जो ये रार शुरू हुई है और जो लोग भी हैं वो उस समय का जो भी सिस्टम था या जो भी लोग थे शासन सत्ता में उनकी उनके वरद हस्त का भी सुन लीजिए एक और एग्जांपल मैं एसटीएफ में ही था एसटीएफ में मैं मुख्तार अंसारी को पूरे गैंग के साथ परसू कर रहा था हेड सॉफ्ट टू शैलेंद्र सिंह शैलेंद्र सिंह को एलएमजी रिकवर करने के लिए कोटा लगाने के लिए इस कदर फोर्स किया उस समय की गवर्नमेंट ने कि पंद्रह दिन बाद उसे पुलिस सर्विस से रिजाइन करना 
यही उसकी परेशानी का अंत नहीं हुआ उसे सरकारी मकान तुरंत खाली कराया गया किराए के मकान लेने से रोका गया जहां जहां वो किराए का मकान लेने जाता था इसके गुर्गे पहुंच के उसका जो बयान रोते समय एक ऐसा उस समय का बहुत ही ब्राइट मेरे साथ पोस्टेड था बहुत ही ब्राइट अफसर था बहुत ही ऑनेस्ट अफसर था ऑनेस्टी उसकी आज तक इस घटना के इतने दिन बाद तक भी उसकी ऑनेस्टी जिसको देखनी है वो जाके देख सकता है लेकिन उसे इतना प्रताड़ित किया गया सिर्फ इसलिए कि एल उसने मुख्तार से रिकवर की थी मुख्तार के लोगों से और उस एल का इस्तेमाल कृष्णानंद राय के मर्डर में किया जाना था एल के रिकवर होने से जम्मू कश्मीर जम्मू कश्मीर से वो चोरी से लाई गई थी ये केस सब लोग जानते हैं आप नेट पे ढूंढ लीजिए आपको पता लग जाएगा और उस डिप्टी एसपी की कि जिंदगी को नरक बना दिया गया जी उसने हर तरह से कोशिश की कि भाई मेरी गलती बता दी जाए मैं लेकिन कोई सुनने को तैयार नहीं था दूसरी बात मैं बता दू कि ये दो साल कृष्णानंद राय की हत्या टल गई 2005 में जब कृष्णानंद राय की हत्या हुई उसके कोई पंद्रह बीस दिन पहले उस समय हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स में एक खबर छपी और खबर लिखी बाईलाइन खबर थी भूपेंद्र पांडे जी ने लिखी थी जो आज की तारीख में इंडियन एक्सप्रेस के स्टेट हेड हैं उन्होंने उसमें लिखा था कि बड़े फाटक यानी मुख्तार के घर पर कौन कौन लोग हैं संजीव जीवा है मुन्ना बजरंगी है सम पांडे करके एक है पांच छह लोगों के नाम लिखे और ये लिखा कि वहां पर पांच ए के आ गई है दो तीन ए के का वेट हो रहा है और कोई बड़ा कांड होने वाला है ये हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स के फ्रंट पेज पे छपी और उसके बाद भी किसी ने उसका संज्ञान नहीं लिया यहां तक कि इसका संज्ञान लेके एसपी ऑफ द गाजीपुर ही ही स्टार्टेड एक्सट्रैक्टिंग सम इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द प्लेस एंड ही वाज शिफ्टेड विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और पंद्रह दिन बाद ही एक मिनट आपको इस वक्त इस वक्त राजेश जी राजेश जी मैं एक मिनट के लिए आपको मैं इंटरप्ट कर रहा हूं क्योंकि हमारे साथ इस वक्त पीयूष राय भी है नहीं नहीं तारीख लारी जी आपको मुश्किल हो रही है क्या सुनने में ये सब बातें पीयूष राय कौन है आप तो जानते ही होंगे पीयूष राय कृष्णानंद राय जी के सुपुत्र हैं तीन सबका भाषण सुनना था तो वो तो मैं टीवी पर सुन लेता जो मैंने दो हजार भाषण नहीं है ये भाषण नहीं है सच्चाई है मैं यहाँ सुनने के लिए नहीं 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 ऐसे लोगों को तो, ऐसे लोगों को राजनीतिक पना मिल चुकी है इस देश में जिस शैलेन सिंह की बात कर रहे हैं वो ब्रिजेट सिंह का गुर्गा था क्या है जिस शैलेन सिंह की बात कर रहे हैं वो ब्रिजेट सिंह का गुर्गा था ये सबको मालूम है वो भी तो पता है ना कि वो कितना बड़ा गुर्गा था ब्रिजेट सिंह का ब्रिजेट ये भी साथ में बोलिए ये भी बताइए मेरी बात सुनिए एक मिनट तारीख लाड़ी जी तारीख लाड़ी जी आई टेल यू आई टेल यू मैं बताता हूँ ना आपको वन मिनट लेट मी टेल यू दिस्ट्री लेट मी लेट मी टेल यू दिस्ट्री लाड़ी जी लाड़ी जी लाड़ी जी लाड़ी जी लाड़ी जी लाड़ी जी सुनिए लाड़ी जी तारीख लाड़ी जी तारीख लारी जी एक मिनट मेरी बात एक एक मिनट सुनिए मेरी बात एक मिनट सुनिए मेरी बात एक मिनट मैं बताऊंगा मैं बताऊंगा मैं जरूर बताऊंगा अगर आप रुक जाएंगे आप गतिरोधक बन रहे हैं मुझे रुक जाने को आपको कह रहा हूं आप रुक जाइए दो मिनट में सब कुछ कह दूंगा आई विल से एवरीथिंग आई विल रिवील एवरीथिंग टूडे यू सी व्यूअर्स दिस प्रोग्राम दिस प्रोग्राम मुख्तार अंसारी जेल में तारीख लारी तारीख लारी जी मैं बताऊंगा ना आपको तकलीफ क्या होगी सब चीजें फैक्ट बताइए आप इस प्रोग्राम में आके कह रहे हैं मैं उनका मैं उनका फैन हूं तो आप फैन बने रहिए मैं मैं आई एम इनवाइटिंग पीयूष राय राइट नाउ वन मिनट तारीख लाली जी तारीख लाली जी वन मिनट प्लीज वेट प्लीज वेट सर प्लीज वेट प्लीज प्लीज वेट प्लीज वेट प्लीज वेट और दो हजार लोगों का कातिल प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनकर बैठा सब पूरा दिख रहा है क्रिमिनल तारीख लाली तारीख लाली जी जस्ट वेट अ मिनट मुख्तार अंसारी मुख्तार अंसारी आप उनको ग्रेट नहीं बना सकते 
क्योंकि मुख्तार अंसारी इज डेड कौन ठाकुर मारा गया कहीं पर मुख्तार अंसारी इज डेड कौन ठाकुर मारा गया है कौन मार गया था मुख्तार अंसारी मुख्तार अंसारी आपके साथ नहीं रहे अभी आपके साथ नहीं है इस दुनिया में नहीं है मुख्तार अंसारी उसको तो भाई श्रेणी की चलिए देश बदल रहा है उत्तर प्रदेश भी बदल रही है आप भी बदल जाइए भाई श्रेणी की आप भी बदल जाइए देश बदल रहा है उत्तर प्रदेश बदल रहा है भारत बदल रहा है आप भी बदल जाइए माफियाओं को भाई सुरक्षा दी जाती है और तारिक अहमद लारी जिसके ऊपर पीयूष राय लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन पीयूष राय Piyush Rai, everybody is on volume down. Piyush Rai, who is on the right hand side of the screen, viewers, two minutes, and I'll get everybody back. Piyush Rai is the son of Krishna Nand Rai. अब ये कहानी बहुत जरूरी है लोगों को जानना. Krishna Nand Rai was an MLA representing Muhammadabad Assembly constituency, which is in Gazipur district. Okay, he defeated Mukhtar Ansari's brother, Afzal Ansari. and he won the mohammadabad constituency of gazipur district now when he did that he was a threat to the illegal businesses of mukhtar ansari in 2005 piyush rai's father krishnanand rai was coming home when he was attacked aur yahi mukhtar ansari ye inke samay mein ye they used to have ak 47s and piyush I just want to share this with you. Four hundred bullets were pumped into your okay. father's body. Four hundred bullets, and and and. Today, there are such people who are trying to make them a hero. Ki kar rahe. So I just want you to want to ask you when you hear these people, what would you like to say to them? What would you like to say to them? Actually, uh, thank you, Arno, for inviting me on your show. And, and really, I am not surprised by. you know uh, these people are making heroes of mukhtar ansari i'm totally not surprised by them because uh, i was listening everybody's uh, views on the his past karma and uh, i don't know the name but uh, some of the uh, uh, one member of the panelist i think he is uh, uh, he is the spokesperson of sp he was referring that mukhtar ansari was never a member of samajwadi party and i'm sure that he is right He was never a member of Samajwadi Party. So just ask him: Does he believe that Mukhtar Ansari is a mafia and gangster or not? Just ask him one thing: Is Mukhtar Ansari or was Mukhtar Ansari a mafia or a gangster or not? The gang number IS one ninety one was on his name, and the he people who were involved in those gangs were the. Like the mass murderers, like Munna Bajrangi, Sanjeev Jiva, Rakesh Pandey, Hero, and there were there were many people who were involved in his gang, and his gang was till now Loud active it. till date, and we don't know what they are going to do in the future. But are these Samajwadi Party leaders or any other uh, political party? What they are doing with this social uh, status between the people that by making a hero out of Mukhtar Ansari, they are demeaning their basic line of politics. That if somebody is a criminal, whether he belongs to any caste or any religion, he should be always told he that he is a criminal, whether he is of any caste or any religion. One of the Samajwadi spokesperson was asking, "Who uh, did any chhatri was ever killed?" Yes, Prem Prakash Singh was Bunna Bajrangi was a chhatri. He was killed in the jail. There was a judicial investigation, and he was also all uh, the members who killed your father seen. has been killed. Yes, all the members who killed your father has been killed. He was a Brahmin. Am I right or wrong, Mr. Pius? He was never asked whether he was a Brahmin. Why not Vijay Singh? Vijay Singh killed the government. Never Why not Chulbul Singh? These issues, like who, what is the religion of a criminal? We always know. Your you know, mother has said, "Baba Ji, ne mere sun li." Your mother said, "Baba Ji, ne mere saath saath kiya." Baba Ji, ne mere sun li. There were uh, these people were also there at that time, and no issues was raised why a Brahmin Bumiyar criminal, why a Brahmin Bumiyar MLA was killed and his shikha was cut down from forehead 
असलियत निकली ना मुंह से प्योर थी कि आपके पिताजी क्रिमिनल थे असलियत निकली आपके मुंह से कि आपके पिताजी क्रिमिनल थे ये देखिए ये असलियत है ये असलियत है प्योर थी के मुंह से जो निकल रही है ताकि शिकार हो सके एक समाज को क्यों बेजब किया गया उसकी शिकार काट के उसके सर पे 400 गोलियां चलाने के बाद उसके सर पे पॉइंट ब्लैंक से हर व्यक्ति के सर पे पांच पांच गोलियां क्यों मारी गई क्यों नहीं ये सब प्रश्न समाजवादी पार्टी के या बहुजन समाज पार्टी के जो भी लीडर्स हैं या कांग्रेस के जो भी लीडर्स हैं उन लोगों ने ये प्रश्न उस समय इनके भाई अफजाल अंसारी समाजवादी पार्टी के सांसद थे क्यों नहीं पूछे उनसे कि क्यों ऐसा हो रहा है आपके कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी में कैसे विधायक की हत्या की जा रही है और आपको अगर ये लगता है कि अगर मुख्तार अंसारी समाजवादी पार्टी के नहीं मेंबर रहे हैं तो आपके अखिलेश यादव की फोटो मुख्तार अंसारी के घर के क्यों इतने करीबी फोटो उनके साथ है क्या रिश्ते रहे हैं जब वो बसपा में रहे हैं तो उनसे उनके साथ नजदीकी बनाने के क्या कारण है अर्नब आई थिंक द होल रीजन बिहाइंड दिस इज द ओनली मेयर पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ वोट वोट बैंक एंड तुष्टिकरण की राजनीति ने इस देश के पॉलिटिक्स में एक ही चीज तय किया है कि जब जब चुनाव होंगे तब तब वोट बैंक के लिए ऐसी पार्टियां ऐसे दलें अपने इस्तेमाल के लिए वोट बैंक की राजनीति करती रहेंगी उनके लिए अपराधी का हमेशा मजहब निकल के आ जाएगा किसी भी व्यक्ति में जब चुनाव खत्म हो जाएंगे तो फिर उनका काम निकल जाएगा फिर वो अगले पांच साल का इंतजार करेंगे कि कब किसके किस अपराधी के मजहब के बारे में चर्चा की जाए तो ये तो ये दशा है पॉलिटिक्स की ये थोड़ी सी ड्रॉबैक्स हैं, पर मेरा मानना है कि एक मिनिमम डिकोरम होनी चाहिए पॉलिटिक्स में जो हम और आप एक तय करें कि जो अपराधी इस समाज के लिए हानिकारक है तो उसके बारे में जो ये बात कर रहे हैं क्या कहना होगा कि हाँ ये अपराधी है मैं मैं मुख्तार अंसारी इसलिए अपराधी है क्योंकि वो नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल देखिए इट इज टाइम टू स्पीक ओपनली मैं मैं पहले की बात हो रही है कि उनके लाड़ी जी लाड़ी जी मैं एक बार आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू आसिफ सोहेल हत्या होने पर सब कुछ आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू आसिफ सोहेल फॉर वन मिनट बिकॉज इज नॉट आज आसिफ 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 की बराबर है डिड डिड पीपल लाइक डिड 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 सम पोलिटिकल पार्टीज whether sp or bsp outsource muslim vote banks to people like atik ahmed and mukhtar ansari or not kya aap apna dabdaba na banaye rakhiye aap paise banaiye khub extortion kijiye firoti kijiye kidnapping kijiye murder kijiye theek samay pe hame vote bank le aaiye aur humko regular paisa dete rahiye yahi to baat aati hai na 100 crore 200 crore 1000 crore ki contract extortion industry aisa hi to chal raha tha desh so the communal angle is that the business angle is also there yes asif bond se chal raha hai extortion arna ma bhi electoral bond se extortion ho raha hai main jawab dunga arna iska dekhiye ek to pehli baat filo khat ka jo mudda hai suniye sir mujhe bolne dijiye aap filo khat ka jo mudda hai mukhtar ansari ke maut ke upar dekhiye up hindustan ka number 1 state hai jisme custodial death 900 ke upar hue hue ठीक है कभी बंदूक की गोली से मारा जाता है तो कभी जहर देके मारा जाता है कभी बुलडोजर से मारा जाता है कभी नाम पूछ के मारते हैं कभी इबादत गांव को तोड़ते हैं यहाँ पे देखिए कोई रूल ऑफ लॉ नहीं है बंदूक से चला जाता है संविधान तो खत्म हो चुका है और रही बात देखिए मैं मुख्तार अंसारी को सपोर्ट नहीं कर रहा हूँ वो जो थे गलत थे उनको मारने का हक किसी को नहीं था कानून उनको सजा दी थी और वो कानून के मुजरिम थे वो सजा काट रहे थे ज्यादा पीयू जी के फादर जो उनको जो मरे है वो बहुत ही गलत बात है उन, उन, उनकी भी मौत के ऊपर हमें अफसोस जाहिर करना चाहिए देखिए कोई पार्टी का आदमी कोई दूध का दुला नहीं है ये लोग को इस्तेमाल किया गया है भाजपा हो या दूसरे पार्टी हो कोई भी वक्त के ऊपर हर किसी को इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं पहले गैंगस्टर का गुंडागर्दी चल रही थी आज पॉलिटिकल गुंडागर्दी चल रही है आज फर्क क्या रह गया है बताइए आप लोगों को चुन चुन कर मार रहे हैं एक एक पॉलिटिकल किलिंग सिर्फ एक टारगेट मुस्लिम वक्त के ऊपर क्यों हो रहा है कैसे आपको पता कि मारा है यशोवर्धन आजाद कैन दिस काइंड ऑफ एलिगेशन बी मेड विदाउट एनी प्रूफ आप गलत बोल रहे हैं लोगों को को भड़का रहे हैं हाउ कैन यू से मारा गया ही एन हार्ट अटैक इनको हार्ट अटैक हुआ है आप कह रहे हैं मारा गया इन लोगों ने चलता है ना बल्कि किसी के इलेक्शन का टाइम है इसको डाइवर्ट करने के लिए ये हुआ है समझ रहे हैं आप 
अरे आप कैसे बात कर रहे हैं यशोवर्धन आजाद आई थिंक गलत तो गलत बोल रहा है रिस्पांसिबल एलिगेशन आई थिंक यू मस्ट सपोर्टिंग एनीवन यू मस्ट रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट शुड सपोर्ट मुख्तार अंसारी और नाइदर कोई भी रहने दो जो बीजेपी से जुड़ा हो या किसी से जुड़ा हो नॉट बेनिफिट बाय किलिंग हिम बिकॉज़ ही हैड ऑलरेडी बीन कन्विक्टेड इन फाइव केसेस इट नाइदर हेल्प्स द पुलिस एंड इट डजंट हेल्प द स्टेट आल्सो द अदर थिंग इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज वेदर इट वाज पॉइजनिंग दैट इज एन एलिगेशन व्हिच हैज बीन मेड that will come out in the toxicology report what Correct. is the judicial inquiry for and therefore to give a judgment already before sir mera sawal ye hai unki autopsy exactly. in camera ki gayi kya uttagar hai to unki unki autopsy in camera kari jani chahiye tha ab wo samples rakhenge inquiry hogi sab hoga ye sab tab baad mein baat hai sir bekar baat hai sab hone ke high ho gaya hai body se maar rahe kisi ko zahir se maara ja raha hai galat baat hai lekin doctor se aap jo cha likhwa lijiye mujhe bhi tarike maloom hai sab aap sunne nahi to baat dusri hai ye wo aap poisoning ki baat kar rahe hain suhel sahab वो टॉक्सिकोलॉजी के रिपोर्ट में चार सप्ताह बाद जुडिशियल इंक्वायरी में आ जाएगी उसको तो छिपा नहीं सकते हैं ना वो तो जज की बात है और जो पहली बात है मेडिकल अटेंशन की वो भी उसमें आ जाएगी and Samidhan also to uh, na, uh, you know to hai, to mr vivek silas that don't for, you see he is and was a gangster don't lionize him don't try to build a sympathy campaign for him nobody has any sympathy for mukhtar ansari i am saying the man doesn't deserve sympathy mr lari you don't need to build up sympathy for him okay viewers i i will close it there when i come back viewers from mukhtar ansari we'll go to the, the story that's doing the rounds you may have heard that the united nations that the united states have all been condemning kejriwal's arrest and the congress uh, tax notices when i come back on the other side i'll tell you why i think both the questions and the answers being reported in the media are planted and false in a few minutes Amity faculty have filed over 2100 patents yet another reason why Amity has been ranked among the top for innovation achievements भाषा तमिल भाषा हिंदुस्तान की है मैं दुनिया को बताना चाहता हूं सबसे पुरानी भाषा का गर्व प्राप्त है वो मेरी तमिल भाषा है गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम व्यूअर्स कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी इज रेजिंग अराउंड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वंस अगेन so much controversy around the country's highest court all the time is not good and most unfortunately all this controversy happens every time on the eve of every election especially the general elections and the supreme court of india is willy nilly dragged into political issues and that's not good either it's very bad i have always maintained that it is wrong to use the supreme court rooms to fight political battles but it happens all the time and now it's getting very intense the political controversies around the supreme court 600 lawyers saying that there is a concerted attempt to surround the supreme court with pressure tactics pressurize the courts to smear the courts and with all of this happening with the hashtag supreme court controversy we must address this burning issue what are these political parties fighting about If the fight is over money and access to money if the fight is over whether some parties are getting more money and others are getting less money and the fight is over whether you got more money I got more money you got these many crores I got these many crores ladies and gentlemen 
fight it out in the public arena? Why make the Supreme Court the center over a fight over money? What is this fight about, really? Is it about whether the PMLA Act should be act used against scam kingpins? Then why drag the courts into it? Were other people like Naresh Trehan or Jet Airways or Wadwans of DHFL who are accused of grace? कांग्रेस को जब से कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है इंडी एलायंस वाले लोग बार बार जानबूझकर हिंदू धर्म का अपमान करते हैं इनका हर बयान बहुत सोचा समझा हुआ होता है मार्च ऑफ टेरर इन पाकिस्तान Chinese workers killed in suicide bomb blast. Is Pakistan in a position to garner security to the Chinese? Debating tonight at 10:30 p.m. Congress ko jab se कर्नाटक में मौका मिला है तो इन्होंने कर्नाटक को अपना एटीएम बना दिया है मिस्ट्री ओवर यूएस यूएन रिमार्क्स ऑन केजरीवाल UN wades into row over Kejriwal's arrest. Is US engineering anti-Indian narrative? Debating tonight at 10 p.m. Indi allies wale log baar baar jaan bujkar. हिंदू धर्म का अपमान करते हैं। इनका हर बयान बहुत सोचा समझा हुआ होता है Delhi studios of Republic TV. It's time for the debate. Go 